beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed while we look not at the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal very powerful scripture paul is teaching the church in corinth and this is what he has to say that there are Two dimensions of realities there are things that are seen and there are things that are unseen please pay attention that it is possible to look at the things that are unseen so we have things that are seen and we have things that are unseen now either ways he never said that the things are unseen are unreal just because the optical eyes cannot see them or it has not yet manifested in this three-dimensional realm it, and then there are things that are unseen and paul gives us an information that is very comforting and instructive here's what he says for the things that are seen are temporal powerful but the things which are not seen are eternal what does that mean that means that everything you see is merely a child the real mother that brought that child is in the realm of the spirit everything you see paul is speaking now provided is an experience that has come to this realm he says there is a possibility of changing it this is a very comfortable it's a very comforting scripture because it then means that any outcome that is currently at work in my life that may be unpleasant or inconsistent with God's character that under a certain condition I can change that reality is that true by looking at a reality from the unseen realm and bringing it to superimpose on this realm so I can see sickness I can see poverty I can see failure even if i cannot do anything about it the first message of hope is that it can change listen it is dangerous to be in a situation where you know nothing can be done about it so the he leave how it will change leave including what you have written that there is a certain condition listen please pay attention i want you to really understand this that means conditions sponsor transformation now if you're not science-based i apologize but science physics teaches us that matter can change states is that true an example is water you can have water three states 
it is still water but there is a condition the condition that makes for ice if it remains ice will remain ice forever but that you can actually change the condition you don't need to touch the water just change the condition and it can change its state that means that if your situation remains the way it is it is because there is a condition that makes it conducive now the assignment of the power of god is not just to touch the situation but to create another atmosphere you see now conditions change outcomes you have to understand this conditions when a condition is set outcomes can change very very powerful medicine or different fields of science teach us when they give you an injection you have malaria or you have whatever it is when the doctors give you an injection what are they doing they are not merely passing a liquid into your body no no those they listen research institutes all over the world spend days and spend millions studying conditions that's what they do they study the conditions that make certain organisms thrive in a human body they study certain conditions that make society remain the way it is so we invest a, a research is merely a, a scientific process or is a sociological process that studies conditions is that true please pay attention so malaria has a condition there are times that we say there's flu in the air what do we mean that for some reason the atmosphere has made the condition conducive for these organisms you don't have to believe in them they will look for you because the condition is right is that true and you find out that people are having flu or maybe an outbreak of some sort of sickness within an environment and then if the atmosphere changes and the conditions change either that sickness that organism will go or something else will happen so conditions are very significant everything depends on conditions everything so when doctors and research experts have spent years decades even centuries studying the human body for instance and studying the conditions that become conducive for certain sicknesses certain illnesses and it is based on the knowledge of those conditions they have designed drugs is that true they have designed all kinds of things so that when they inject it to your body what does the drug do the drug does not speak the drug does not think but the drug was programmed when it enters your body what happens it begins to alter the condition that makes that organism conducive there that's what begins to happen very very powerful there is a condition that keeps poverty conducive there is a condition that keeps sickness there is a condition that keeps failure that keeps retrogression is that true yeah and once that condition changes i'm explaining to you what paul is saying that your focus should not just be on outcomes every outcome is dependent on conditions so if an individual cannot walk we create a name for that condition is that true we call it lameness or we say he's paralyzed and then we try to create a way of remedying or at least supplementing for that condition there are times that the condition will get so bad maybe there's an organ failure they may even have to fly you out of the country why do they fly you because of a condition so when you say something is wrong with a man you are simply saying there is a condition that has been introduced to your life are we together now wow why do you call a sinner a sinner a sinner is not a sinner because of his body not because of his color there is a spiritual condition that that person is in when the person gets saved what is salvation you have changed the condition of that person too is that true hmm. 
This is powerful. Conditions. The reality of the fact, I'm drumming something in your mind tonight that everything can change under specific conditions. Science has postulated all kinds of theories. They have told us scientifically speaking that everything is made up largely of energy and matter. Is that true? Expressed in time. This is it. The forms of expression may change, but intrinsically, science has succeeded in telling us that everything is energy, matter, expressed in time. That is it. If that is true, it also means that everything is connected to everything. Because if they come out from the same origin, it means there is a condition, the possibility of transformation should exist. Listen very carefully to what I'm trying to teach you. Watch this. If a growth begins to come out of my body here, the mass that increases it, does it come outside of me? Where did that swelling come from? If the mass goes down, where did it go to? I'm not talking about a surgical procedure that removed it. That you have a boil or something. Let's use a boil. And then a doctor gives you an injection. And you keep watching and it keeps going down, going down, going down right or maybe you have a sprain or something and then your leg increases in size why did the increase happen what was responsible for the increase and now it went down so science the the two the two authorities that help us in knowledge is faith and science and both of them agree that under certain conditions things can change is that true do you agree with me so I drop a potato on the ground and I create a condition and I return back after a few days. What do I see? The potato begins to grow because the condition was made. If I do not want that potato to grow, I don't need to hurt the potato. I need to study the condition that fights growth and creates that condition. Are you getting what I'm saying? So when he says, why we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen, for the things that are seen are temporal. The word temporal means subject to change. Not under every condition, under specific conditions. What does it mean? Listen, human beings are largely victims of conditions. What does it mean to be cursed? Look at this. Come. If I say I cursed this gentleman, what did I do? Did I, did I remove his clothes? Did I change his name? Did I change his complexion? What did I do? I programmed a condition. And we call that condition a curse. Are, are you getting this now? So this man is working physically, but he's under the influence of a condition. And this condition has been authorized to make certain things happen and certain things not happen. So anything that is evil and can destroy him, the condition has been programmed to call it and welcome it. Anything that can bless him, the condition has been created to drive it away. So we found a name for that condition. Bad luck. He is cursed or whatever it is. So if I bless him, did I change the color of his skin? Did I change his name? Did I change his speech? I introduced a condition. Programmed in that condition is the ability to drive certain things. Programmed in that condition is the ability to attract certain things. We, all of the names that we call good things are simply ways of identifying conditions. What is favor? A condition where pleasantness, the help of men come to you. Listen, if you know this, then you really understand the assignment of the word of God. 
because when the word of God begins to walk with the anointing let me tell you what they do the first thing the word of God in partnership with the anointing does is to scan the conditions of a man's life because it knows that every outcome this family is not moving forward they are not going forward it's not so much about the devil demons are also experts in creating conditions when they create those conditions they defend those conditions to make sure that the victim remains in that state are you following so far so transformation only happens when you create the enabling conditions the enabling conditions for instance there are children that when you give birth to after a few years they don't grow normally for instance there is a name given to that condition is that true because ordinarily a child should grow so the doctors begin to investigate what could be wrong then they will find out that something is malfunctioning in that child's life if they have the wherewithal intellectually and financially they can correct or manage that condition now scientifically speaking when when doctors look at a patient i'm using medicine since it's applicable to all when doctors look at a patient and say sorry we cannot do anything about your situation what are they trying to say that means we are limited in this art of creating conditions for health we have done our best through the studies that we have received but this situation right now we know that it can change under a certain condition but we are yet to properly put in place the condition that changes that situation what is education education is creating a condition that makes for enlightenment is that true when you submit students and help them and teach them across a field of study or a, bo a body of knowledge so when enabling conditions are created transformations begin to occur there are times that agriculturists have to come and study a soil is that true and they teach us in agric that there are different kinds of soils even the bible attests to the fact that there are different kinds of soils that when a sower sows as powerful as the seed is the seed requires certain kinds of soils hmm. conditions now very quickly please pay attention the bible lets us know that principally speaking the agency that is responsible for creating or altering conditions are words follow my discourse we're about to pray so he gives us the bible now lets us know that no word is empty that words are not just speakings in the air is that true that every word spoken by men animals beasts it carries a level of energy in it let me use that expression or power as you may say every word regardless who and where it came from once it is a word it carries a measure of energy and there are certain conditions it can change Two scriptures proverbs 18 21 the lord is helping us see when you understand what i'm teaching you will understand the dynamics of miracles and the supernatural and supernatural manifestations let's read together please one to read it says death and life are in the power of the tongue uh-huh and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof one more time please death and life are in the power of the tongue hold on it never said the power of the human tongue it never said the power of the believer's tongue provided there is communication 
there is a release of a certain degree of energy the only thing is that sometimes the energy may not be sufficient to provide the transformation needed so if a man speaks there is something that word can do there are other things it cannot do there is no word spoken that is barren matthew chapter 12 and verse 37 this is from the lips of the master himself matthew 12 and 37 koinonia if you can see it, let's read together one to read for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words one more time for by thy words and by thy words that means all words carry a certain degree of energy how does a judge vindicate someone does the judge come and hold him the judge sits down in that position and makes a decree just one word you are acquitted or you are guilty somebody can literally be sentenced to death who is 10 times stronger than the person who is speaking but one word you are hereby sentenced to 30 years in prison and for the next 30 years you will not have the opportunity to see the world as you know it again because the word not from God not from a spirit the word from a man backed up by an institution have been brought before the court of law and one word coming from a judge accredited the moment the judge speaks judge has not spoken they are there but they will not do anything and the judge strikes that hammer and makes a statement one statement and that's it someone is on his way to prison and you will remain there even if reason and by any means they want to bring you out of there nobody would just come and open the prison and bring you out it will take somebody to creating a condition they will have to examine the facts around your life lawyers am i speaking correctly you say let's look at this case again there must be a loophole and you find a loophole connect it with something the constitution says and that becomes a system of amnesty and you can bring the person out words every man's condition remains the same until words come into your life words change people's outcomes by changing the conditions this is very very powerful all words carry a degree of energy now watch this the principle of changing conditions or introducing the energy that changes the state of anything listen carefully they are words what then you see why the word of god is powerful the word of god is powerful because every man's word carries the power of that man a judge's power does not carry a doctor's a judge's word does not carry a doctor's power is that true a judge's word carries a judge's power a doctor's word carries a doctor's god's word carries god's the reason why we call the words that come from god the word of god is because number one it comes from him a revelation of his thoughts but number two it is backed up with his power those who manufacture drugs when you buy um again let me use the medical people when they're about to give you an injection almost everybody here has collected an injection in your lifetime is that true yes sir including babies if you've been alive for at least one year you would have collected some sort of injection now watch this the doctor does not just bring out his, a syringe in his pocket and give you no he will first show you there is a liquid somewhere is that true and then they have a way of cutting it and they put the syringe draw it out and then they give it to you now those who manufactured it usually will put their name or something that represents them there the injection may not come from them 
but they are putting their credibilities on it so they put it there and once they inject you you go knowing that that injection came from the intelligence of so 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 and so company i trust them you may forget the doctor but you may not easily forget the name like you cannot remember the name of the doctor who gave you chloroquine but you know chloroquine so the administrator of that injection is not as important as the manufacturer of the product are you getting it now yes any doctor who has access uh i, I need to call something that we're well let's use chloroquine then forgive me i don't know if it's at work or not but let's just use it now once he is a doctor he can hold that syringe and give you the injection because the content of that liquid is more powerful than the doctor are we together there are times you can have many injections but they tell you that the drugs or the liquids are scarce for instance right now there are all kinds of vaccines they are trying to get across they are not getting injections it's easy to make injections local productions can have injections but the problem is the liquid is that true that's what people pay for what does this tell you that pay attention please words i was talking about the words of a man carrying the power of that man the words of a father carries the power of a father within the context of his home is that true if a father stands and tells the children stop what happens his words carry his power but let the man stand just 100 meters outside of his house and shout the same stop his words no longer carries power because he's not within the jurisdiction you see that there has to be another condition upon that man for his words to go that far for instance if he becomes a chairman of the local government then he can now stand the jurisdiction of his influence has increased the president of a nation can stand anywhere within the physical territory of his the geography of his authority and he can speak and it becomes law is that true no president can travel to another nation and speak there why because the condition there is a condition that governs his authority in this case the condition is jurisdiction when you understand this you will know how powerful the word of god is for you to know how powerful the word of god is you must know god because the word of god is a representation of the power of god it is god now speaking in your life question what condition can he not change because medicine has done its best to create conditions agriculture in fact right now i once watched a video one time where they were growing crops and yet they were not planted in the soil this this is a recent technology they were growing oh, but not planted in the earth but in the crops mind it is still in the earth because the scientist said what about the earth really makes the crops grow because it can be the sand and they were able to pick the the vital components and reproduce it and even without touching the earth the result started creator of the universe what can't you do what can't you do jesus the name above every other name what can't you change what can't you change hardest condition to change on earth is a sinner's condition this is what jesus himself said that is easier to say take up your bed and go than to say your sins be forgiven so whoever has the power to use words and change a sinner's state and a sinner's condition that person must be all powerful and jesus the son of the living god when he rose up from the dead he said all hail all authority 
in heaven and on earth is given to me not only power over death not only the power of life but the power to change conditions has been given to me it says go therefore go with that consciousness that you have received from me not just the power to give life alone not just the power over death but i give you power to change conditions as you go preach saying the kingdom of heaven has come if you see any condition that does not look consistent with what i'm saying remember that you have power through words to change that condition this is a miracle every condition is a function of time changing any condition is also a function of time if a doctor begins to treat you sometimes they can tell you you will take this treatment for six months is that true it will take six months for the condition to change other times three days other times five days how fast does the word of god change conditions let me tell you the word of god is quick and powerful sharper than any two-edged sword it's in your bible john chapter 1 verse 3 may your faith be fired up tonight john 1 verse 3 please give it to us media john chapter 1 verse 3 read it with me please one to read all things were made by him hold on hold on hold on if all things were made by him it is also safe to say all things can be changed by him look at me ladies and gentlemen have you had times where the manufacturers of cars recalled certain vehicles because they manufactured it and they discovered a default and they will honestly tell you from everywhere Europe America Asia they recall those vehicles because they manufactured it you can only change what came out of you keep that scripture there all things how many things were made by him another expression it is him that created the conditions for everything to be made and without him that means outside of his influence was not anything made that was made please try to understand this all things were made by him your lungs your brain that part of your body that is being plagued by demons now it was made by him and the bible says outside of him if you ever see anything exist it was made by him if it was made by him it is safe to say it can be changed by him when you buy products if it's from the manufacturers there's something they have they call it a warranty is that true usually it's a year or two they give you a warranty that if you have patronized us or the authorized dealers if for any reason there is a default in this product you can bring it to the authorized dealer all things were made by him and without him was not anything made made there does not just mean physical creation all godly millionaires were made by him and without him was not anyone made all kingdom driven politicians were made by him all great families were made by him is that true if it is true that he is the maker of all things it means he also sustains the power to change anything now that is the part that is really really very powerful if God made what he could not change we are in trouble because there are certain conditions right now that if they do not change we will be in trouble imagine if he made the sun alone and there was no night imagine if he made dry season alone look at the power of god in nature one moment we are dancing outside and even sleeping outside the next moment there is rain coming still on the same earth one moment the ground is hard 
the next moment you can literally dig it with your hand God reminds us even using nature that the maker is also the changer he can change men he can change conditions he can change seasons are we together now yes when you understand this you will no longer be afraid of explaining the supernatural can be explained even scientifically there is a dimension of it that may not be explained but basically you are introducing an energy into a life into a space that changes the state of that matter sickness is a medical attempt to describe the condition of an individual based on certain outcomes certain features is that true health is also the name given to a condition when we say you are healthy what do we mean it's a name that was invented to describe a state and a condition and the bible says the word of god sustains the power isaiah 55 let's start from verse 8 very powerful to 11. it says for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways saith the lord verse 9 for as the heavens now watch this he's showing you the dynamics of how his word works he says for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts verse 10 for as the rain aha uh -huh, watch this now for as the rain that means you want to understand how my word works use geography study the rain for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither but watereth the earth and makes it to bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower watch this do you know what God is saying he's saying this water coming to you as rain has always existed in the clouds but not as water it's existed as what vapor when it goes up it condenses if you want it to come down what happens you will change the condition there it can't come down as vapor it only goes up as vapor water does not come down as vapor so if you want it to come down as vapor there is something you do to that water and it comes down and when it comes down it will now water the earth when it is done with its assignment does it see return you change the condition again and then it evaporates back he said that's how my word works verse 11 now so shall my word be that goeth forth it leaves heaven as something else but by the time it gets to the earth realm the holy ghost empowers it and it comes in a form so it is his word it may leave heaven as be healed but the moment it gets to your life the holy ghost holds it it's not just be healed that enters your body it enters your body and begins to search for anything that looks like sickness when it corrects it it will return back again because it will be sent again he's saying every word that i send does not return until it achieves the purpose for which i sent it remember what i taught you every man's word carries his power a judge's words carries his power a military man's words carries his power a man in that word is the power to change conditions hmm. conditions thou son of david have mercy on me and then he says what should i do that i may gain my sight and he ministered and the centurion said no i know how these things work i am a man under authority i also have soldiers under me you too you are under authority the words that you speak carry the authority of the kingdom you repeat. that same hour the bible says at that same hour the sick was healed what then a miracle it happened when the word of god you see if i speak by my strength as a man 
you will not get zero results there are some results you will get for instance so you, you won't get zero results but the kind of miracle you are looking for now the wisdom of men and the words of men cannot produce it are you seeing this now yes so i am like that syringe remember my syringe example now yes the syringe does not really matter you look at what is about to enter your body this was not made by some earthly research institutes no it is the word that created the heavens and the earth i hope you know that god is an expert with fixing things that are wrong genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 and 2 it says now the earth was dark and void and formless what state is worse than that and the spirit of god said don't worry we are used to this we know what to do with this condition the spirit of god began to hover around and then verse 3 and elohim said light be what was the result there was light the first manifestation of the word of god and his power if the bible says and god said let there be light and we didn't hear anything it means we should begin to get afraid it means there are some things now you see why the bible keep, kept emphasizing that everything he said he saw he said he saw you know why so that you will trust the words and the power that backs that words that when god says it he will see it that means whatever you want to see it is your assignment to make god say it because if he says it ending him that he has said it he has said it in his word and he will make what he has to be celebrating here every deliverance every breakthrough it has already happened according to scripture but we need to make it happen in our lives in experience and it is when we remind him of what was said then he now says it again by the holy ghost let it be the spirit and the bride say come why should you be surprised that someone who came here confused with doors closed by next week returns back with all doors opening now you understand remember my teaching on conditions closed doors is a condition it's not about the door it's a condition the door does not want to close or open it does not care if you lock it it will obey you and remain closed is that true how many of you have tried to close a door and it refused to close because something was wrong with the condition that keeps it locked so you check it up oh i made a mistake and then you change the condition and the door obeys you everything that has disobeyed you is still obedient let me repeat everything that has disobeyed you is still obedient you have not found a condition that makes it obedient everything if resources disobey you they have ever been obedient provided they came from god disobedience cannot come from god everything needed for life and godliness that came from god is still obedient your assignment is to understand the condition that activates that obedience this is the assignment of the word of god and this is the assignment of that enforcer called the power of god so as the word of god comes i have taught you here that the assignment of the anointing the energy the power of god the the anointing of the holy spirit has no assignment if the word of god has not gone forth because the anointing is merely an enforcer and a confirmer that means that if god says let healing happen the anointing moves to make what he said come to pass are we together now this is why words are powerful look how i'm listen listen this thing i'm teaching you is an office i'm not just teaching you an information i learned somewhere there are people sick right now as i'm talking they are still feeling the pain there are people oppressed you wouldn't believe the kind of back the, the truckload of demonic spirits oppressing people they are hearing me as i'm talking now i'm in the spirits now and yet they will not go why because what i'm saying is not the word that sends them yet you see so when words now come 
Halipa Kura Supakata. When words come, what do they do? The Holy Spirit rides on those words into your destiny and conditions start changing. And sometimes the conditions change so fast. I'm saying this so that you will believe. If not, you will not be able to receive anything. Apostle, as it is right now, I'm feeling this pain. Yes, you are right. Because there is a condition that keeps it there. But do you believe that with one word, something comes into your body? There's something called anesthesia. Is that true? And anesthesia, I, forgive me doctors, forgive me. Oh, the doctor is not here. Do you know that they can give someone that injection and in a moment you will not feel pain around that area again for some hours? Am I correct on that? What did the injection do? Thank you. But you know the pain will come later on. It's just that it's not needed for that time. If science can be that fast and accurate that you inject someone immediately and you can even be carrying out the surgical procedure and the person is looking at you what happens when the word of God now comes into that system don't ask how will the eye condition go don't ask and don't think that this thing is some faking of no we are talking the word of God here so you came as a whole family apostle we don't even know what the we don't know what is wrong with us we just know that things are not working welcome you are in the right place you are in the right place so when that word is sent the word of God comes and starts looking at your entire family and with digital precision okay failure disfavor yokes immediately in seconds it diagnoses it but it does not stop there it will start creating the conditions that makes those yokes and those causes to go and the impact is so powerful I am talking here and yet it will throw you physically on the ground I didn't push you up. I'm here talking and something is happening in the realm of the spirit and it comes like a plane landing on your destiny listen I'm not just entertaining you we are going to pray but beloved people listen the supernatural is real conditions can change let me repeat myself conditions can change when people reject you they are not rejecting you there is a condition you are carrying that makes them reject you when you are failing and fa he fails man of god you may be in ministry no increase no results respectfully speaking there may be a condition But when God speaks, he said, let there be, and there was. He said, let it change. That's why you see people return with all kinds of testimonies. You think Joshua Selman in his power and strength is able to do this? No, no, no. But I know this mighty God. Not only because he appeared to me, I know. When Jesus appeared to me, I did not open the door for him to enter. I don't even know how he entered. The door is just for you. He entered anyhow. Don't ask how it will, he will enter your body. No. The doctors will say, lie down. And they will have to go through that incision and now begin to meticulously help you. But the Holy Ghost, oh come on, please, please please when I ask you to lay your hands it's only a point of contact to help you not help God 
ask the Holy Ghost how he entered the womb of Mary. He did not appear as bread and said, eat and it's me. No, no. Ask the Holy Ghost how he entered back into Jesus to resurrect him back to life. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now hear me please. Everyone, I want you to look at the condition you have now because that is really what we have come to deal with. We, you call it sickness. You call it delay. You call it failure. You call it confusion. God calls it conditions. Abuja is a good land. Your territory is a good land. But it does not mean you will just be blessed like that. There is a condition. You can work for 30 years under the same condition you will have the same outcome what does it mean to encounter god it means to have an encounter that changes your conditions please find a way of believing what i'm telling you so you are sick apostle right now there is a situation i'm having hiv i'm having this you are right you are only describing a condition but watch the wonder working power not the word of a man not the word of a monarch not the word of a the military the word of god when it was time for jesus to resurrect the dead he said lazarus if he just said come forth that would be rapture immediately because his power is sufficient to raise every dead body he had to mention the specific person because that word was going to enter the realm of the spirit so when the word entered the realm of the spirit who is lazarus here you are the one come out i was sent to bring you out the powerful thing about faith is that faith can make you claim any name so if God speaks now and says so 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 person faith can tell you is your name too and it's your condition and God will honor it because what he says to one he says to all so you don't just sit down praying that you should call your name Lord just speak that's all I want let me hear what you are saying and let it dare relate to my situation I will not let that word pass me by listen when the word of god comes because i'm about to pray for you now you have a responsibility number one do not just think it is a man talking no no i am only the voice echoing that word that word is coming from the throne with fire with power with grace i may not know your conditions how do i stand here as a man and now begin to call your name and your conditions it does not make sense humanly it doesn't make sense scientifically but when the holy ghost takes over you see so as healings and deliverances and all kinds of supernatural manifestations of the spirit come number one don't be distracted you must be focused god is walking in the midst of his people whether you are in any of the overflows down to the basement you are outside you are following online anywhere at all it does not matter we are talking jesus here benny Hinn calls the holy spirit the unlimited presence of jesus i believe in miracles i believe that a condition you came with you actually can leave it there yes so when prayers are going on don't just be looking at other people if you are sick in your body you must believe that i'm ready to be healed you have some lump some growth don't sit down and say how will it disappear i've taught you it's just an interplay of energy and matter it is true some terminal disease hiv whatever blood condition maybe genotype whatever it is don't say god cannot heal you you're here you have all kinds of bone conditions don't sit back and say look at the size of my bone can i walk brothers and sisters we are talking the lord jesus christ here exalted as both lord and christ how about impartations some of you are in their need 
of many graces graces that create new conditions you cannot be walking in a territory and everybody is looking at you as if you're a piece of rag it means there is a condition that is responsible for that mockery and that shame and i'm telling you in the presence of god that condition can change when you say it's my background what you are simply saying is there is a condition god can give you another condition there is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary there is a stillness in the atmosphere oh come lay down the burdens for in the sanctuary so as a normal human being you can hug you can shake you can greet but when jesus comes you will be amazed the same words you were hearing from morning now does not become the words of a man again when these words begin to come please listen to me i want you to just imagine light coming from the throne to your life and what is it doing changing conditions changing conditions and you check yourself and find out just like a dream is gone just like a dream and there are certain conditions that you may not be able to verify physically because they don't come with pain but you believe at the instance of god's word the power of god is touching that woman on purple help that woman i'm seeing like oil being poured on her oh madam your life is about to change in a way that will surprise you jesus the son of god Please pray strings for me. Listen. I used to watch this years ago in the meetings of Catherine Kuhlman, T.L. Osborne. And I would see these people would just come with childlike faith, Reinhard Bonke. And when they would teach, they would tell you that Jesus is here. And you would think it's a joke. Within minutes, brothers and sisters, you will see all kinds of miracles. And I said, God, there has to be an explanation to this just like that and then i learned that it is not just like that when the anointing comes when you are frying palm oil in the kitchen women look up please you know what happens to that kitchen as soon as fire what happens sometimes the condition can be so harsh it does not speak to you but it will make you run out of that kitchen so if you are a demon for instance when the fire is applied and that kitchen is you there is something that that fire is able to do and it will make what was there help them to leave you see how deliverance happens yes just because a word is spoken be free be delivered no no it's not just a word speaking there there are innumerable company of angels the power of god moving from place to place what is the assignment to find out what is not consistent with the character of the christ we have called this a miracle service and the bible says everything adam called it that was the name thereof When Jesus appeared to me and stretched his hands towards me, I'm telling you, I know the light entered me. Whether it entered through my head, whether it entered through my chest, I don't know. Don't ask how the power of God will get into your body. <clears throat> the power of God is not a needle. The power of God is not a tube that is passed through you. It can come in and begin to correct things. And that when it's time to testify, you will find yourself running to come and stand 
and say Jesus this really happened how about conditions in your office how about conditions in your bank account how about conditions in your your life your family apostle we have tried and tried to build for seven years this house has refused to be completed i tell you there is a condition making that happen by the time god releases something upon you remember all blessings come from god i've taught you through man to man that is the dynamics like you hear people testify someone calls you even while service is going on and says where are you i don't know why i just feel like blessing you now you understand a condition reproach is a condition infirmity is a condition spirits merely enforce conditions that is the assignment in a human body or in an environment to enforce conditions conditions that create outcomes that negate the speakings of the word a miracle service therefore is a platform that allows the word of god in partnership with his power to move in the midst of his people and begin to correct conditions correction that can be scientifically proven spiritual in origin miracles are platforms where both science and faith agree let me repeat myself miracles are platforms where both faith and science agree faith says be healed science confirms that it happened to you faith says be delivered science confirms that it happens every true miracle must have a scientific expression because they are the two platforms that explain man and the occurrences in our cosmos faith takes care of the realm of the spirit and the supernatural science gives interpretation and meaning to what happens in our physical environment none of them is anti-god in itself it starts from the realm of the spirit light be and it manifests physically as light so the healing starts from the realm of the spirit and physically your life and your destiny your children physically like the dear ones who shared their testimony here can you imagine that one word just comes by the spirit and dear people of god look at this one word to a politician may god shift you and it will look like just a word until you see the forces that fought you begin to come and you will know that a condition has changed how about a businessman you're trying to do everything you know to do but there is a condition that authorizes both men and spirits to fight you my assignment tonight is to walk in partnership with the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit to engineer this transformation by turning the conditions in your life around and this by the grace of god will be faithfully done tonight are you ready please rise up on your feet Just two prayer points and I'll begin to pray for you. Prayer point number one. I'd like you to insist tonight. Please be intentional. Insist by way of prayer that these conditions, the Bible says that the things that are seen are temporal, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Shilabata so prete sekete. The things that I see are temporal. The sickness that I see is temporal. The oppression that I see is temporal. Is someone praying? Take it out. Elamatoshi Araba Balagada Brodo Shekepa Elamo Sata de Roshika Ete Brekete Shebalado Zagaba Hallelujah Hallelujah The last prayer point Tonight it is 
I, I began to sense this even before I left for the miracle service in Zaria. Just help those under the anointing already. I sense that tonight, God is not only visiting individuals, but God is extending it even to families. I began to sense that right from Wednesday or so, that you see, there are some of our family members that may not have the faith or the discernment to receive, but God is using you tonight as an altar, not only to speak for yourself, but to speak for families. Are you ready to pray now? Lift your voice in one minute and say, Father, not just me, but everyone connected to me. Please pray. Not just me. Is someone praying? Outside, pray. Online, pray. Jesus, the lifter. Jesus, the healer. Jesus, the restorer. In la motaka de proko repeke tepe roko do pada en plato po shabala takita hallelujah hallelujah the final thing i would tell you is please be sensitive to divine instructions you see under the influence of the spirit there are many things that don't make sense but in the childlikeness of the gospel romans 15 and verse 19 let that be the last scripture let me show you something Paul is speaking to the church in Rome 15 and verse 19 it says through mighty signs and wonders and by the power of the Spirit of God oh dear it says that from Jerusalem and round about unto Illyricum, I have preached fully preached the gospel of Christ so the gospel is not fully preached until there are miracles signs and wonders right now just before we pray just stand still everybody where you are no shouting no nothing i just want you to bring for me those who are under the anointing whether inside or outside just do what i'm asking you to do sing hallelujah Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing Christ is risen from the dead. Sing Christ is risen. Sing Christ is risen. Sing Christ is risen from the dead. Because I, I just I began to see angelic activities just moving across inside and outside, touching people. And the Lord is giving me an instruction. Just bring the people out. Some of you, it's not just individuals. God is touching families using individuals. This is a miracle service. Now, hold on, please. Hold on, please. Um, the Lord is opening my eyes. And I'm seeing like fire. I saw the number 43. And I'm seeing it come on people. And the Lord is telling me he is visiting foundations. That's what I'm hearing. Right now I stretch my hands inside and outside. 43. In the name of Jesus. I don't know where they are. But I stretch my hands. Foundations are being visited by the Spirit of God. Negative found. Help them please. Negative foundation. Negative foundation. Negative foundation. Negative foundation. 
This is the place of encounter. Do to me what you want. Bring them out. This is the place of surrender. The word of God. This is the place where your life is changed. Do to me what you want. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is showing me chains. I always see this in the miracle services. I'm seeing chains on the feet of people. And the Lord is just asking me to stretch my hands. And right now as I stretch my hands, every chain, chains of ancestry that has held anyone down, bring them out. I decree and declare right now, chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. I place the word of God upon your life, upon your destiny. Chains. Be broken. Chains. Be broken. Chains. Be broken. The Lord is still breaking chains. Chains are responsible for circles of retrogression. Retrogression. Nothing moving in your life. There are still more people inside, outside, following online. Anyone whose life has been stagnated. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Atmosphere, she's now change be broken. Break out, Holy Spirit, who now heaven's open, heaven. Hallelujah. Open. Who is Olua Kemi? Hold on, please. I'm hearing a name, Kemi Olua Kemi. We have to be very fast tonight. God is visiting people. I'm hearing a name, Olua Kemi. I don't know who that is. Who is that? What's your name? Olua Kemi. What's your name? Olua Kemi. From where? From Oyo State. Oyo State. Where are you from? From Ogbomosho. Ogbomosho. Lift your hands and shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! That oppression leaves you now. Never to return to you. Help her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, hold on please. This woman, please come. Bring her. Just be careful with the people with the... My God. Tonight is a night of divine supernatural visitations. Hallelujah. Now, please listen to me. Please listen to me. You see, the thing about the power of God is that he can step in in a moment. Moment. Who is Silas? I'm hearing Silas in my spirit. Silas. The Lord wants to break the yoke of retrogression and stagnation from that family. Silas. Please don't come out at random. Don't come out at random. We're organized people. This is a miracle service. Where are you from? Edo State. Huh? Edo State, sir. The person I'm talking about must be from Edo State. Where are you from? Edo State. Sir. Where are you from? Give him the mic. Come. Where are you from? Edo State. Edo State. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you, my friends. You believe in Jesus? Father, I'm praying for these people. All of these people... For that name, Olua Kemi. Two of you, the power of God is coming on you now. I'll pray for everybody, but two of you are just on fire. Two of you, right now. The supernatural power of God is coming on you. It's not something you can stand. This is the word of God. We're talking about the word of God here. 
Now in the name of Jesus, every oppression over every Olua. Can we help this woman so she doesn't fall on that bar, please? In the name of Jesus, madam, I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus right now, I'm seeing light entering you. Let there be a, a miracle in your body right now. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. I'm seeing the power of God come on someone. I'm not seeing the name, but I'm seeing honorable there. I know this must be a politician. Right now as I'm speaking, a supernatural power of God. The Lord is saying he's breaking something connected to foundations. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead. According to the word of the Lord, I decree and declare that everything connected to ancestry and even foundations please let them not just get up and move like that there is a reason why we ask them to come out it's not for show at all in the name of jesus let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now the lord is ministering to me i'm seeing a family in total plus mother and father i'm seeing a family of seven you came here where are you come i'm seeing my left side the lord is telling me that they are from my left side here just somewhere here is there a family like that please come a family of in total seven this is what the lord is showing me do we have anyone like that please make sure they are correct don't we're not lying we're not faking it they came here let them come please break every chain break every chain break every chain i decree and declare over all of you here who have come out by the spirit every devil that will not let you go hear the word of the lord i declare by the rod of a higher priesthood at the count of three release their destinies now one two three go go now wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name above every other name be delivered now be delivered now in the name of jesus christ please where is the family i spoke about just vet them let's be sure that hallelujah seven father in the name of jesus i pray for that family right now seven this is what i'm seeing i know what i'm seeing in my vision are they here let them stand here i will pray for everyone who has come but particularly family of seven where are they okay let me pray and then everyone who has come no problem you can join them father now out of her now help that woman out now in the name of jesus release that family by the power of the holy spirit release them now in the name of jesus someone remove the child if she's holding a child so please remove the child so she doesn't fall with the child we are here for you come and do what you do Hallelujah. Where are you from, sir? We first keep on staying in Lagos. You stay where? In Lagos. Sir. In Lagos. Lagos. I want to pray for you. These are all your children, the family. Yes. Father, look at me. I'm seeing your hands tied in the spirit, and the Lord is saying to lose your hand. This is another family. That's all right. I'll pray for them. The, one of your daughters is going to be used by God. And the power of God is going to come on that person right now as I'm speaking. Father, I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, may that anointing that separates, that consecrates, and makes mighty, may that grace rest on that one right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And in the name of Jesus, I cut you away from this delay. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for this other family that has come in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Madam, where are you from? This woman. Where are you from? I'm 
Kogi State. Kogi State. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Say, I shall not die. I shall not die. In Jesus' name. Jesus One more time. Say, I shall not die. I shall not die. I decree and declare because I'm seeing a coffin in the realm of the spirit. You have been having dreams. Is that true? Yes, sir. And you see dead people in the dream. Yes, sir. Sometimes you even see that you are the one who died. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, the plague of death ends now. And I use that as a point of contact over everyone here. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice that death is looking for you or your loved ones shapakato sketebada in the name of jesus be delivered right now be delivered right now be delivered right now help them please help the little one now every family here represented i stretch my hands and i declare go forward in jesus name Go forward in Jesus' name. Go forward in Jesus' name. There is a family that came from Kano. Where are they? I'm seen by the Spirit. The Lord is telling me there is a family that came from Kano. We have to be fast. If there is such a family, please let me know. So that we can pray. I'm seeing that they came from Kano. I want to pray for you right now. I don't know if they are inside or outside. Kano, I want to pray because we are going to step into a massive, massive moment of deliverance. Strong deliverance that must separate you from and with anything. Please, if you find that family, let me have them here. I just want to speak to them. You came from Kano. Let me pray for them right now. I'm not saying you are from there. I'm saying you came from there. Let me pray for you. Hallelujah. The overflow outside, I want to pray for them. The Lord is showing me something. The overflow outside. Those outside, I just want you to stretch your hand towards the screen. I want to pray for you. The Lord is revealing something to me right now. The overflow outside. Can you help me, camera? I want to pray for them. Our media people, let's walk together, please. I'm, I'm just, the Lord is revealing to me those outside, the overflow outside. Please stretch your hands. I want to pray for you right now. I'm seeing that the power of God is coming on certain people. I'm seeing the number 18. I'm going to pray for those inside. I don't know why God is ministering to those outside. But right now, those outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And I want you to bring all the people under the anointing outside are you ready one two three shout jesus. jesus right now i command those devils to leave in the name of jesus in the name of jesus and by the power of the holy ghost bring them outside right now i decree and i declare by the spirit that raised christ from the dead my god i'm seeing yokes breaking breaking right now in the name of jesus the christ of god let there be miracles right now in the name of jesus strong deliverance is even for families in the name of jesus the son of the living god let there be deliverance now those outside yokes are breaking 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 for those outside in the name of jesus christ now those of us inside at the count of three i want to pray for you now please pay attention it is true that there are spirits that oppress people. It is true that there are spirits that sit upon the destinies of people and continue to sabotage the purposes of God. Mysterious occurrences in your life. Habits that you cannot stop. Patterns that cannot be broken. Are you ready now? All the other overflows following online. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. That name that is above every other name. As you shout the one who is oppressed, every family under captivity, under the sound under the sound of my voice, as they shout that name, exalted as both Lord and Christ, let there be deliverance right now. Are you ready, Koinonia? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Jesus! Release their destinies now. Please bring them out, inside, outside. 
Release their destinies now. Release their families now. Hey, pa, take it, take it, take it. Help that woman, please. Release them now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Release them now. Please bring them. Bring all of them out. I'd like you to open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare, I am free from everything that ties me down. Please pray. Lift your voice and pray. Declare ye that thou mightest be justified. Are you praying? Are you praying? Don't be distracted. I declare liberty. I am free by the power of the Holy Ghost. All the overflows in the name of Jesus. Free. Every devil, every spirit, in the name of Jesus, every spirit manifesting in your dreams, taking you back and programming things to your destiny. Right now, I declare fire at the count of three. One, two, three. Every devil oppressed the from the dream realm, I cast you. Let them go now. Release your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is there anyone here by the name Ishaku? I'm hearing the name Ishaku. Is there someone with that name? Your name? Huh? What's your name? Daniel Ishaku. What's your name? Daniel Ishaku. Daniel Ishaku. Madam, is your name Ishaku? Hold on. Where is your son? You couldn't make it. What is his name? Ishaku. Where is he? I need to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, please, if that is your, not your name, please don't come out. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, according to the word of the Lord, I pray for you. Right now, a visitation comes not only to your life, but to your entire family. I stretch my hands towards you and I declare, be free now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you life, I bring you freedom by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the Lord is telling me he wants to help them, please, up the balcony. The Lord is speaking to me. There are families where it is the women that feed the men. No matter how hardworking you are, the husband is the wife and the wife is the husband, practically speaking. And it may not necessarily be because of laziness. It's just a spiritual pattern that has destroyed people. Right now I'm praying, anyone connected to such a family or such a condition, right now the power of God is coming upon you. And in case you are standing here and your loved ones are victims of that pattern, it is the Lord revealing this to me in the name of Jesus Christ right now right now by the power of the Holy Spirit be delivered now be delivered now hallelujah now this is an interesting thing I'm seeing but let me pray it anyway there are people the Lord is telling me it started from last year using the guise of the pandemic but it's not really about the pandemic you have been losing money consistently till now consistently whether you are in business or not money has been a gradual decline 
by the Spirit of God. We're not worshiping money here, but if God gives a word on that wise, we must respond to what he's saying. I want to pray for you now because there are some of you, altars have been activated using the guise of the pandemic. You will be surprised to see what happens to you now. Father, I am praying, even as you have instructed me, there are individuals here and there are families that this spirit has tied down the resources of the families and continues to bring them down right now let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are let the power of God touch you where you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a very interesting revelation. This is for pastors. This word I'm about to give is for pastors. I'm hearing in my spirit that the seasons of retrogression... The seasons of delay you are a man of God here please listen because something is about to come upon you if there are people under the anointing at this word I just wanted to bring them out right now you are you are in ministry here the Lord is saying the powers that are holding you down whether male or female you are in ministry missions pastoral ministry right now I decree and declare there is speed that is coming may that grace come upon you right now take that grace now Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Help them please. Take that grace now. No more delay. An unction is coming from heaven. Changing your condition. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Reverend sir. The Lord is giving me a word for your wife. And the Lord is saying she's stepping into a new season. Of the prophetic and of favor. These two graces. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare right now, Madam, by the Spirit of the living God and according to the word of the Lord, don't bring her out, just keep her there. Step into that season of the prophetic and activation of the grace and the gifting of the Spirit upon your life and also of the season of favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing 11 people. This is a vision I always see when God is speaking to me about promotion or increase. I usually see men climbing ladders and I'm seeing 11 people. The power of God is coming on them right now. The Lord is telling me that your lifting is a strange season. You know, I began to announce this from last year. Please believe what I'm telling you. In the name of Jesus, Father, where are they? Whether in career, in business, in politics, right now, take that grace. That grace that lifts, take that grace in governance and politics. Take that grace in the name of Jesus. You are climbing that ladder and no power will stop you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help this man please. Help honorable, please hold him. I speak to you again by prophecy that in the name of Jesus Christ, for as many as have seen, some of you are in a season of promotion. But as it is, there are councils sitting down. And there are voices that want to bring you down. I stand by the grace God has given me. Help them please. I push you now. Step into a new season. I push you now. By prophecy. Step into a new season. this woman holding a phone i'm seeing fire coming on her this one holding a phone in front right now i don't know what it is but there is mighty deliverance coming for you and your family take that grace right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke everything that is not of god let it release you and let it release your family in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm hearing a name, Jennifer. My goodness. There is such breakthrough coming for that family. Who is Jennifer? Don't tell lies. Please, we are serious people here. 
I told you by faith you can connect. It doesn't have to be, please, let's, so that there is a breakthrough because I'm seeing, I just saw what looked like coals of fire on an altar and I just saw it being destroyed and I saw a door open. This is what I saw. In the name of Jesus Christ, Shatike Parakata, Lekete Brekete Kete Kotos Kotopakata, Embreketikatia. For this family, those of you standing in front right now, every altar tying your destiny down, Pares Kete Brekata, right now, no matter how long it has stayed, those in front here, fire is coming upon you. I set that altar now, in the name of Jesus, I set that altar right now on fire. He must let you go now. I release your destiny. I release your destiny. Everything holding your lifting. It comes under judgment now. Madam, this woman, please tap that woman for me. Lift your hands. The Lord is saying your life is about to change now. I release that grace upon you. Right now, this unction, from, if this week will not pass madam you will see the way God will turn help her please God is turning things around in the name of Jesus Christ you see let me tell you this there is a fearful side to God when he begins to move just like that he will turn things around just like that all of them out for the name that name I called ah huh? from Kano okay you are at the basement let me pray for them I'm going to pray for you all these ones that are out my dear that lady on maroon look at me shout Jesus as loud as you can go ahead Jesus! Jesus! I command that spirit to leave your family right now in the name of Jesus Christ now for all of you who are standing here I'm telling you fire is coming on you you came for a miracle service you don't you don't don't forbear with evil if you forbear with evil it will grow I pray for all of you right now fire from heaven let it come upon your life and turn your story around take that fire now take that fire now take that fire now take that fire now in the name of Jesus Christ for the family from Kano, madam, these are your children. There are two. I'm seeing two in the spirit. Where are they? Where's the other one? In the name of Jesus Christ. That's all right. I pray for you. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that represents hardship, we bring it under judgment now. There is a family that I'm seeing a pattern of the death of men. Men in that family. The Lord wants me to pray right now. A pattern of death. Either male children, male husbands, male father, just male figures. Just keep disappearing. Where is that family? It's time for your breakthrough right now. Where are you coming from? Male just it's like there is a spirit huh where Bayelsa. where is that by elsa who is this let me talk My to this woman in china she watches online in china yes sir. she's watching now yes sir. daughter connect i'm about to pray for you and pray for your mother madam you believe in the power of god yes, sir. i'm going to pray for you i'd like you to shout jesus where you are Go ahead, shout Jesus. Jesus! Right now I command this altar, release this woman now. Help her, release this woman now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is this family I spoke about? Just a spirit that kills men. Please people of God, look at this. Look at this for God's sake. How wicked and devilish the devil is. All your brothers are dead. Hold on, please. Let me talk to this lady. Where are you coming from? from don't, don't cry. Dead. How many of your brothers? <laughs> two, my two brothers. They are all gone. Those are the only brothers are my dad. And your dad is gone. Yes. <laughs> you see, the Bible says how God anointed Jesus. Look how many people are coming. 
one word from God now imagine for God's sake that you leave these same people because it would destroy them and also destroy the male people who are here please help them they should be careful with that the, the metal stand or um, protocol you should be able to help them on that please are you seeing what I'm saying the stand here please the ones in front here too so they don't fall on it look at this now all of you look at me you are standing here because you believe in the power of God lift your hands I'm going to pray for you such fire will fall on you and I'm telling you that altar I don't care how long it is but my Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us at the count of three father I pray that every altar tying down and killing men are you ready one two three take that fire now 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 in the name of Jesus I bring you deliverance now the spirit and the altar that destroys men we bring you under judgment you are under arrest now you are under arrest now I release life to this family life to this family and hear me for some of you who the ones who left were the breadwinners of the family I pray may God raise someone else take that grace now may God raise someone else for some of you that someone else is you I place that mantle on your head now go and help your family go and lift your family you may not look like it but let this unction come upon you Many of you will come to testify here because doors will begin to open from one door to another door to another door. And as I'm praying for them, I'm praying for everyone too. That in the name of Jesus, hear me, hear me please. And believe what I'm saying. If there is any family here that does not have at least one person lifted by God to, be, to help that family. I stand by the God of my salvation. Right now at this August Miracle Service. May God raise people in that family now. May God raise people in that family now. May God raise people in that family now. I raise you by prophecy. I connect you to destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus. Please return to your seats rejoicing. We have to pray for the sick now. I expect everyone to still be praying. Please don't be distracted. This is a very holy atmosphere and God is turning things around. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a grace. A grace. Hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit help and visibility. And this grace is coming on everyone but particularly those in the music ministry this is what I'm seeing uh, maybe I worship team people in the name of Jesus help many of you want to move beyond this level but I'm seeing that there are powers tying people down even though you are worshipers I stretch my hands let me use our worship people as a point of contact that fire comes on you now from nowhere may help arise for you and anyone here following online who is in the worship ministry, the ministry of psalmistry, I declare help arises for you now. Help arises for you now. Help them please. Help arises for you now. May the Lord give your ministry visibility. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now let's pray for the sick. If you came here trusting the Lord for a miracle, either for yourself 
or for someone you're standing in for. Some of you have already been healed with all the several ministrations. But right now, I want to minister particularly to the sick. If you came with someone, you can lay hands on that person now. Whatever the condition, remember what I taught you. The maker is also the changer. Please lay your hands. Any part of your body you're trusting God for a miracle for, please lay your hands. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. I want to pray for you right now. Believe in miracles. Some of you are standing in for your loved ones. Go ahead, stand in for them. And there are people following online. You're following from whatever TV station. You're following from the internet. By way of social media. Please connect by faith. Jesus still heals. The Bible declares Jesus the same yesterday, today and forever. Please connect with someone right now. I really believe in miracles. Did you know that there are people who connect every week from hospitals? I know there are people on sick beds right now connecting several hospitals across the world. This is because there is a healing Jesus and he does heal. He still heals. Now, three things will happen. Please listen carefully. One, I'm going to begin to pray to rebuke the spirits behind those infirmity and to administer the healing power of Jesus. I'll do that very fast. And then, number two, the moment I do that, be prepared to check yourself. Already there are miracles happening for those of you who came out under the anointing, you know, all kinds of spirits. Usually when they go, many supernatural things happen. The moment I pray for you, I want you to attempt to do what you could not do before. You find out inside, outside, all the overflows. You find out that there is a miracle that has happened to you. I'm going to request very quickly that you will make your way once we give the permission to, to come out either here or here. We'll have a few minutes to take some testimonies. And then whilst we're doing that, we're going to be um, getting our prayer requests ready. So at the same time, if you're yet to write your prayer request for those who are following online, please do well. You have a few minutes to make that happen. And those who are healed online, you can send in your testimonies immediately by way of our social media platforms. We'll do this very fast so that I now speak into your life. Please listen. Make sure you stay and receive the prophetic word. I need to speak over your life as we're entering what we know to be ember months. I don't know why, what is it about these months, but they seem to hold some mysterious tragedies for people. It takes the prophetic word that comes from scripture to build a system of immunity over your life and over your loved ones. Are you ready now? Please lay your hands. Let's pray. I believe in Jesus. I truly believe in miracles. I believe God heals. I believe he will heal right now. Just agree with me as I pray. The power of God is flowing right now. Just help those under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out. But do well to check yourself. If you're laying hands on someone, do well to communicate the same instruction. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are the healer. And you said in your name will cast out devils. In your name will heal the sick. I am praying right now every spirit that is back of the challenges that your people have been having all kinds of challenges i command those spirits to give way now i command those spirits to give way now right now let the power of the holy spirit begin to move from my left to my right from the front to the back from inside outside be healed now yes. be healed now yes. ulcers of all sorts be healed now yes. yet now yes. organ failure system failure let there be restoration now There is someone, I don't know whether you are here or you are in a hospital following online. You have, it's like your kidney is damaged. The Lord is giving you a brand new kidney now. A brand new kidney now. Eye conditions of all sorts. 
be healed now by the power of the Holy Spirit any kind of lump in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare all lumps go now all those who are on crutches wheelchairs or those who were carried on stretchers in the name of Jesus I bring you life be healed now every kind of bone condition back pain pains in your around your muscles your your abdominal region be healed right now in Jesus name there's someone who has what we know to be nose bleeding just like that for no reason blood starts coming out of your nose the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me someone you have suffered a terrible affliction of skin infection you have tried to treat it and treat it and it looks like nothing is gone right now I'm praying for you you will know the power of God has touched you because the itching will stop instantly be healed in Jesus name there is someone's father also I'm seeing I don't know if it's a kidney kidney condition someone's father the Lord is healing that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ all forms of hearing problems be healed right now in Jesus name hotness in the body severe heat in the body be healed right now in Jesus name now there is someone no matter what you eat it's like you have a problem a unique problem of indigestion it doesn't matter what you eat you have this problem sometimes you even have to throw up what you are eating right now in Jesus name the power of God is touching you now all kinds of pain pain around your body be healed right now high blood pressure low blood pressure be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name let me assure you by the grace of God that every spirit that is masquerading behind your pain and every problem I stand by the God of heaven who called me and I declare it must give up on you finally it must give up on you finally it must give up on you finally tying down your children tying down your progress it works for others until it gets to your turn listen when it's time to pray don't be quiet are we together you didn't come to watch a movie you came to provoke some things to get out of your life they remain to the degree to which you permit them there is a way you can be angry at certain situations and say, Lord, thank you for the grace to clap for others. But tonight, I have made up my mind. Tonight, it has to be my night. Tonight is also a night where whoever has been sitting on what belongs to you. Mashali kasko prakato zatia pakada. Embregete kalaku Hear me. Was a man not sitting on a seat that belonged to Mordecai. He sat for a long time. It was not Haman's destiny. The real person who was the owner was sitting at the gate and, a, and someone who was there mismanaging that position. Tonight, God will overturn and overturn and overturn and overturn. I prophesy to you, he will overturn. Hallelujah. The Bible says, while men slept, the enemy came. Many of you have seen harvests in your life. You cannot remember who sowed the seed. The Bible says you were not the only farmer. There were things you sowed and so, uh, the devil came as a farmer too and added some things. You sowed peace and love, but you are seeing a harvest of trouble. And you are saying, no, 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 this does not match. 
Ah, he said when a thief is caught, he is made to restore tenfold. In the name of Jesus. Help those under the anointing. Listen, I came here full of the spirit. I came here angry in my spirit because it, it is someone seasoned by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Who told you God does not lift? Who told you God cannot lift a man? It doesn't matter what family you are coming from. Forget about the talk of arrogant men. When God points his hand at you, he can shift anything and lift you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And any man who by mistake has said over his dead body, this night, this ground will open and swallow them. Who is a man that attempts to speak when God has not spoken? Any family here that there doesn't seem to be joy, it seems like sadness and pain. Every week, every month is another episode of trouble. You are hearing trouble from mama, trouble from your dad. In the name of Jesus, I don't care how long those patterns are. They let you go once and for all. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, you'll be seated shortly. When the, the, la the lady who works in civil defense, as she was giving her testimony, she said something that struck my spirit. She said, my promotion came and it was backdated. And that thing touched me. You see, the difference between progress and restoration is that in restoration, you backdate. Proge progress is just advancement. But restoration, we have to start not where you are, where you were, and then take you to where you need to be. Both progress and restoration, my God will release it to your life tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I believe in the power of God. I believe in miracles. Don't ask how it will happen. Don't make the Mary already helped us to answer that question. How shall these things be? Luke chapter 1 and verse 34. Seeing that I know not a man, the angel already said it, verse 35. This is always how it shall be. The angel answered, The Holy Ghost shall come upon you, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Don't ask, How will I be healed? That's the answer. The Holy Ghost shall come upon you and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. How will I be delivered? The Holy Ghost shall come upon you and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible talks about a man called Nehemiah. He was the cup bearer of the king. And one time the king loved him and saw his countenance. He was downcast. And the king said, I am not sure you are sick, but why are you downcast? And he began to cry and said that the, the wall of Jerusalem had not been built. And the king immediately said, so what do you want to a cup bearer? There are many of you today, right now, God has connected you to destiny helpers, but there are certain kinds that you need to meet. If you meet the kind that cannot help you, um, they will just comfort you. But there is one strategic person. If Nehemiah consulted with his contemporaries, they would just console him. But as soon as he consulted with the king, all the materials were given to him, plus letters to the governors. Don't harass this man. I pray for you. The grace that will connect you to those who will lift you instantly. May that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. One of the, the areas that the Lord told me in the place of prayer is to break the siege of untimely death. You see this thing called untimely death. Don't wait till it happens to you. 
there is a wicked spirit that is able to cut men short beyond their time using flimsy physical occurrences a bike just comes to hit the only breadwinner in a family and he dies don't tell me that is the plan of god no i know the thoughts that i think towards you jeremiah 29 11 they are thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end are we together so in one minute i'd like you to pray please mention everything i know you wrote it down but i like you to pray because i'm about to begin to minister in the spirit father i pray let my faith be alive visit me in this area in that area someone pray don't let the devil lie to you that god cannot do it even if it's a special miracle that disease can leave you and the spirit can give way someone pray someone pray outside make sure you are praying don't be distracted Someone pray. Tonight is my night. I place a demand on the power of God. For in Jesus name we pray now hear me there are tens of thousands of people here and you don't have to be called as an individual no let your faith reach by faith and you can receive right where you are and for the many who are following online just like the lady from austria said right where you are the concept of time and distance is a scientific concept but as far as the realm of the spirit is concerned i mean even even there are dimensions of science that have told us that at certain realms the the idea of time and distance it's is something that is inconsequential you can pick up your phone right now and with one dial you reach somebody in the north pole somebody at the other side of it and it will go with one dial did the Bible not say the word of God is quick? Quick. Hallelujah. Do you know, behind many situations, ladies and gentlemen, behind many situations are spirits. What do you think these demonic spirits do on earth? Have you ever asked yourself, what do they do on earth that means if you gather them now and said all unclean spirits what what do you do on earth already remember the story of Job. please sit down for one minute remember the story of Job. when he asked satan he said from whence comest thou he gave a very e e intelligent answer he says from going to and fro the earth not to and fro a region i'm going to start asking you to bring those under the anointing now i'm saying this to establish something because i want to rebuke this spirit to and fro the earth that means as far as satan is concerned the earth is too small there is no place he cannot cover and he does that by the agency of these spirits so they are everywhere what is their assignment everything that is pro god pro christ pro advancement pro love 
propice is their assignment apostle who did i trouble that this trouble is coming to me no that that is that is just a traditional way of thinking provided you are alive and provided there is potential in your life to reveal jesus you have invited satan into your life are we together jesus did not invite him to meet him in matthew chapter 4 he only was fasting and building capacity for the journey ahead and that act alone drew the attention of satan he patiently endured until the fasting was over the bible says in john chapter 10 and verse 10 the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy i always read it this way the thief does not come until there is something to steal until there is something to kill and until there is something to destroy that means when satan comes to your life more than being someone who will attack you he has come as a verification system that there is something in your life even if you do not know it satan will never come to that family if there is nothing to steal to kill and to destroy setting people free from the influence of spirits is like destroying a tree by uprooting it you're disconnecting it from the earth did you know that if you try to destroy a tree by plucking the leaves you are only wasting your time once it is still connected to the earth where it can draw nourishment and water it will spring back again in fact it can take what you are doing as pruning and grow back again is that true so there are many of us who are dealing with our situations you want to remove the devil look look at me please the devil walks like an octopus you know how an octopus is different hands he will touch your finances touch this one join the heads of others with the remaining hands and you will think there are many spirits it is one and the same operation visiting every aspect of your life so sometimes solving them one by one may be a waste of time that spirit that powers everything once you clear it out of the way the bible says all doors open how many doors they didn't need all doors to be open to pass but all doors open the same way you came here probably saying apostle let's deal with this issue of my finance but now you will not know that the same spirit is still programming trouble in another area just because it has not manifested remember the book of job the discussion finished in the realm of the spirit then the bible says there was a certain day that was the day of execution same thing with haman they already prepared the day that they will annihilate the jews it just had not happened yet so just because it has not happened physically does not mean the programming has not been done the assignment of the anointing is to scan your life the challenges that have manifested and the ones that are still on their way it clears all of them are we together now you don't have to wait for them to manifest before you deal with them anything that gets to this realm has already been concluded in the realm of the spirit spirits for as long as i live i would not spare any demonic spirit that i know is responsible for frustrating the saints uh -uh. Behind all these conditions, there are many people, what appears to you as infirmity is actually the spirit of poverty. Because by the time you are earning, say, 50,000 or 100,000, and you are spending 30% of it treating a demonic malaria that never goes. Another month, once you are done, as soon as you collect your, your salary, it graduates to typhoid, and then one kind of sickness, that you don't understand as soon as the money is done the doctor says mysteriously it looks like you are getting better that is more than sickness it is a wicked spirit how about families where the devil will afflict one person and every other person in the family must suffer because of that affliction have you seen that kind of thing happen we're going to pray the devil is a liar in the name of jesus christ and then for those who have been trusting god this see this our uh, friend who came and gave testimony the lawyer it really touched me time does not change anything it takes an encounter with the anointing of the holy spirit 
this gentleman would have remained like that and wondered how will it be eight years lord you've not helped me whereas he will be passing his destiny helper every day some of you your destiny helper is seated even close to you it's just that no destiny helper knows he's a destiny helper it's prophecy that re that that does that job because you are sitting down near a rich man or somebody who can connect you does not mean they will do that no it's the realm of the spirit that creates that reaction many of you are angry at every successful man wicked uncle you are seeing me every day that's exactly how it was designed to work naturally he should not have any burden he can't take any burden for your destiny except and unless when that grace for favor is on you now he turns to be more than an uncle he now becomes a helper when uh, saul was on his way looking for his father's donkey don't you think he must have passed a lot of people on the way none of them blessed him but when he encountered samuel and that grace came he said you will meet three people and all of them are holding two loaf of bread they will greet you and give it to you hallelujah god desires that our joy be complete that's why he grants us the opportunity to experience miracles in our lives he truly wants listen if there is anything i know about god is that god is love find a look beyond what has happened or not happened in your life find a way of convincing yourself that the god of the bible is a loving god are we together when you have that mindset that god is love immediately your heart is open to believe him and to receive the one who loves you is the one who heals you the one who loves you is the one who lifts you the one who loves you is the one who restores he does everything he does because he loves us more than just demonstrating that he's almighty is because of love if god did everything he did to us simply because he was a mighty god then we would charge him for lack of love i hope you know god's love is higher than his power is that true mm. god's power submits to his love it is his love that even regulates his power god does not exalt his power above his love for god so loved the world not for god was powerful that he gave not for god was mighty his might is there but let me draw your mind tonight to the love of jesus when you understand that he loves you you will not allow the devil lie to you and say well apostle is speaking about certain special people i'm sitting somewhere outside in the overflow i don't even know how to speak english well my cloth is not even anything to write home about that is exactly the kind of people that love even looks for hallelujah praise the name of the lord so beyond the shouting and the falling under the anointing beyond all of these things have it at the back of your mind that he loves you he loves you the message of god's love if understood will work wonders because there is something about not knowing and understanding the love of god that becomes the basis for accepting every nonsense the devil gives you are we together yes if you know that i love you then you can trust that there are some things i would not do is that true the awareness of that love if someone calls you and says i am joshua selman empty all your account into my my um what now into my own account that person is a fool and is a thief immediately you know that he says that is a senseless it is an anti joshua selman behavior are we together so if, if you have that understanding but if you suspect i do not love you you can easily believe it there are lies the devil has sold to us and we have believed it because the awareness of god's love do you know how far love can go how far love can go power can go far but not as far as love can go are we together when power gets tired it is even love that carries it along jesus was powerful but there was a time power failed on the way to the cross is that true he could not carry the cross the ministry of power failed it took love for him to finish 
believe me when I tell you it is good to be conscious of God's power but higher and greater than that is the awareness of the love of Jesus love means he will not stop until it gets to you love means even if he tried to get it from january till july and it did not reach you power can get tired love insists until you become a reflection of that which he died for hallelujah praise the name of the lord most people do not love jesus they want his power but everything that has to do with love they are not interested in are we together for instance from the testimonies many of you when i came up here you were excited wow this powerful man of god is about to display power again and most of you have come to meet the unknown god unknown to you because you are not interested in relationship that is the character of spiritist and herbalist you've heard me say it when you meet a herbalist you don't say hello gentleman most of them are not really hello man they are not that gentle part is not really there are we together i'm joshua selman i'm tired of this situation help me they don't they don't care who are you turn back come in sit down what do you want i'm tired of this antagonism in my office okay let's ask the spirits and the spirits say we are hungry two chickens one cow they've even i don't know if inflation is happening with them too this <laughs> make sure it is black or brown or whatever color and that's it you live there not knowing the man not even knowing where you went you bring all the things and you drop it he would do all the incantations and say go it is done and most of them nothing happens they eat that that animal and they eat everything and say foolish people you think we're that stupid <laughs> hallelujah why do I know it doesn't work? Because both God and Satan is, is a similar pattern of spiritual growth and training. The same way somebody can be a weak man of God, you can be a weak herbalist too. Hallelujah. You can visit that man and never know his name. Never know whether he's, you don't care. Because the point of contact is your need not love but let me tell you how it works when you come to jesus when you come to him you are reaching for his hand he will gently hold your hand and use it to touch his heart and say listen it does not start with receiving miracles it starts with knowing me huh. you're a good good father that's who you are that's who you are that's who you are and i'm loved by you so i am so i am so i am i'm saying this because the best way to really receive miracles and to retain them is that they come on the basis of relationship not just a man of god speaking as wonderful as that is you know there was a time that they worshiped in in the book of acts and they went to an unknown god i think to an unknown god you can come and just bow down to a deity who you think is called jesus because you hear that he can wipe your tears and he can make the gates of abuja open up for you but i want to start tonight with what i believe is the greatest miracle the greatest miracle is not sickness being healed oppression leaving doors opening favor coming more than that the greatest miracle is for you to be connected to the source of your life your joy your destiny that secures you both in this life and even thereafter and for some of you it is a reconnection because you remember being connected and because of the cares of life and all the hurdles or distractions you have completely lost touch with anything god you see, when we call people to come to Jesus, most people think it's just an evangelistic thing. If you really understand the implication of being outside of Jesus, 
you will know that calling people and reconnecting them is a miracle doesn't lead to shouting and falling and rolling under the anointing but my goodness if god were to open your eyes to see what happens in the realm of the spirit the bible says there is joy in heaven not many things make for joy in heaven like that there is joy in heaven over one sinner it takes a lot for a sinner to come to jesus christ the holy spirit must convict you the power that is coming through the word thought must break that barrier the law of sin and death replaced by the law of spirit the spirit of life in christ jesus and then you come to stand here or wherever it is it is a real miracle for somebody who hates jesus hates church hates any other thing or is just coming to receive and go back and that person says no more than the car more than the house more than the clothes more than being healed from cancer more than being healed from whatever it is as much as i have seen people healed in all honesty i have seen others for some reason who were not healed as much as i've seen god do all kinds of miracles i have seen situations where those miracles did not seem to happen but there's one miracle that when it happens you can beat your chest knowing that is a miracle that transcends beyond this realm the miracle of an encounter with jesus if someone is not healed from sickness and then he transits with jesus in his heart rejoice it was not a loss because to be absent in the body is to be present not on a journey the bible says to be present with the lord are we together I'm going to make an altar call don't stand yet just listen to me because there are people who will come out here forever without even understanding what we're saying the moment they feel emotional they just stand up and come just listen before you come do you know what leaving your seat to come and stand here means number one it means I acknowledge that I was created and that the one who created me is greater and he loves me number two I come out here as a sign of humility because I know that I am unable to help me myself. If I have this life, there must be someone who designed that script. And it is wise to subscribe first to my relationship and then the template he's created for me. For some of you, coming out here means I give up on trying to do things my way. My own wisdom has failed me. My own connection has failed me. I need Jesus. For some of you here, I am not ready to miss it out when this life is over. I don't just want to have a car and houses and lose my soul at the end of it. Are we together? So when we make that decision, it is important for you to know when you are coming out, don't come out and be chewing gum or playing with your ears while the altar call is going. You were not saved. It is not the coming out alone. The coming out is a good sign. But when you come here, don't pinch your friend. Your friend is coming for Jesus Christ. You to come and stand and pray the prayer. And that's why we ask people to come early because there are people who come and even amen they don't say you were not saved are we together now and then there are others who want to come out but they look at their friends and those who came with them and said listen i've written 13 14 15 prayer requests i didn't write any salvation thing so i'm here to be serious don't allow anybody stop you from receiving this miracle and you see the beautiful thing about the character of love is that love never forces when he comes to you he does not force you you must be <laughs> it is up to you to make up your mind and say jesus i believe in you we will not beat you we will not flog you we will not arrest you but listen to me for the sake of all who are connected to you for the sake of eternity for the sake of a meaningful life jesus calls you i'm going to make this altar call now there are thousands of people outside many more in the overflow right to the basement and even in this place and thousands others following by way of television following by way of the internet jesus christ is calling you and you came here tonight for this miracle service maybe it's your first time or you have been here you have watched others come you want to make jesus lord of your life genuinely i'm going to count one to five 
and i want those who are within this place around the balcony you want to make jesus lord of your life i want you to stand up boldly and come and stand here and all the overflows those who are around i want you to join them once this place is full please make use of your led screens right where you are no cajoling no telling lies don't sit down and allow anyone deceive you this is a serious this is not just about church this is you and jesus young and old please stand for space god bless you come and stand come to jesus god bless you thank you for being bold some of you are crying don't be ashamed he loves you two come to jesus if you're coming run so that you are all here they can move forward a bit gentlemen move back a bit so that they can come forward thank you apostle i want to come but i don't know if i'm i'm not sure if i'm saved god bless you join them there is such a thing as the assurance of salvation apostle i want to come but my friend is pinching me to sit back don't mind him please stand up and come in the name of jesus christ there's nothing to be ashamed of we're a family of faith and he calls you to give you a new beginning Oh, I love Jesus. When he opens that door, his arms are wide open to receive you and to give you a new beginning. I hope those outside are coming and then the overflows. You can walk to your LED screens. And for someone who may be watching from your home, you're watching from your office, you're watching by way of a rebroadcast, it is never too late to make it right with Jesus. You may be listening to this message probably in the night in the day in your room even having a retreat with it and the lord is saying let's start not just with the miracle of these blind eyes or whatever let us start with jesus hallelujah praise the name of the lord thank you very much for making this decision i truly appreciate every one of you young and old male and female alike it is a noble thing to come to jesus we are made today because of his grace upon our lives hallelujah may i please request that you lift your right hand all of you who have come out to make this decision lift your right hand as a sign of surrender to jesus and i want you to say this after me say it from the depth of your heart and mean it say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i need you i need you desperately i ask you to forgive my sins Please help him. We're still praying. I receive you into my heart as my Savior, as my Lord, and as my King. From tonight and forever, I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. I declare that I am a child of God eternal life is mine right now i go forward ever and backward never amen please keep your hands lifted father thank you so much for bringing these precious people thank you for the boldness and the courage that you gave them to make this noble decision some of them are crying spirit of the living god you are the only one who is able to help to build and to start a journey with them that makes for a meaningful life on earth and even life with Jesus afterwards. Therefore, I commend all of you to the word of God and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I pray that you be grounded and established in righteousness. That from tonight, please help those under the anointing, from tonight until forever, I decree and declare, let it be a new season for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, I'm going to round off for all of you, but there are three of you the power of God is coming upon you. I just saw a spirit leave you now. Let them go by their declaration of faith. Let it be over right now. In the name of Jesus Christ.
let it be over forever the bible says for whosoever calls upon the name of the lord he shall be saved god bless you may i request that you please very quickly move to my right there are counselors they are ready to receive you they'll just receive you and have a word with you and then you join the service as we begin to pray god bless you god bless you koinonia let's celebrate them a big god bless you hallelujah holy holy are you lord god almighty worthy is the lamb worthy is the lamb you are holy holy are you lord god almighty worthy is the lamb the Lamb. Amen. Amen. We're about to pray now. I want to start tonight praying for the sick. I don't want us to be constrained by time. Many people are suffering diseases and sicknesses. I'm going to pray deliverance and all of that. But I want to take the time to pray for the sick. Listen, I want you to know that the power of God to heal is real. Healing miracles are real. They are not stage managed. They are genuine healing miracles. And there are many of you here who have come having all kinds of conditions. Bone conditions, blood conditions. I've spoken about the power of Jesus. And then more than his power, his love, he is able to reach to you. And here's what will happen because I sense a very strong healing anointing now when I pray for the sick please um, those all the overflows outside I want you to listen attentively while I am praying I want you to release your faith to receive the moment I am done praying I want you to check yourself some of you even whilst the worship was going on you check yourself and you find out that a miracle happened to you something you could not do now you can do whether you are outside or any of the overflows or right here and even if you are following online please let us know through our PR lines and then through the media lines on our social media platform you can let us know that a miracle just happened from America Europe anywhere across Africa and even in Nigeria here Jesus is about to touch you so we'll do that very quickly and I'm going to give you an opportunity to come either to my left or to my right um, and then we're going to take a few of the testimonies and then I'll now begin to minister deliverance and to speak over your life hallelujah I'm already hearing the name Caleb who is Caleb Caleb you're wearing a black dress a hand the hand is black but the dress is there someone like that what's your name Caleb Where are you coming from? From Joss, sir. Joss, yes, I want sir. to pray for you. Your life is about to change. Do you believe that? I believe it, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, you call this gentleman to change his life. In the name of Jesus, Caleb, I pray for you. Let the power of the Holy Spirit rest upon you. Let it be a new season for you. Every limitation in your life, I declare, let him come. I declare that it is broken right now. In the name of Jesus, you're also Caleb, sir. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Who is Veronica? Veronica. Veronica. I'm going to pray for the sick. Veronica. Let's let's just flow as, as the spirit. Ali Sabranduskiada. 
do you know you will think because you are operating in the power of god for a long time you will get used to it i am i am as blessed as everybody who watches this happen to because the power of god is a mystery the anointing is coming on one of you right now i just saw light and when that light comes it is light that dispels darkness and it will announce a new season even in your life that the, the captivity that which has held you down it's about to give way right now you deserve the glory and the honor we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name you deserve the glory and the honor. Shali bas kali branda gada da da. We lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. You are Majesty, we bless you. There is no. Father, I pray for every one of these people. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Every captivity, everything that represents bondage by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let it give way right now. In the name of Jesus. For he called you. And in the name of Jesus, he calls you to give you rest. Find rest by the power of the Holy Spirit. I decree and declare the bondage be broken right now. In the name of Jesus, be broken right now. Be broken right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be broken right now. I declare your freedom and your liberty. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for the sick now. I want to pray for you. If you came with someone who is sick, I'd like you to just lay your hands on them. And if you are the one who is sick, lay your hands. You came with a photo, a point of contact. Please go ahead. Father, in the name of Jesus, ah, my God, such a strong anointing to heal, to correct. Some of you are receiving new body parts. New body parts. In the name of Jesus Christ now I pray every spirit that is back of any infirmity by the power that raised Christ from the dead I command that you give way now I command that you give way now in the name of Jesus for everyone who is sick be healed now be healed now migraine headaches be healed now cancer be healed now hiv be healed now every blood condition be healed now bone conditions for those of you who could not walk in the name of jesus i command that devil to give way that you begin to walk right now in the name of jesus every deaf ear be opened now in the name of jesus every blind eye partial blindness total blindness in the name of jesus begin to see now every growth in your body breast lump fibroids i command them to disappear now the lord is healing someone with a right shoulder pain someone with a right shoulder pain 
be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone I don't know if it's a swelling or something you have at the back of your neck just right here in the name of Jesus I command it to disappear right now there's someone your stomach is bloated I, I, this is some kind of I don't know what sickness that is but it's led to a, a physical bloating of your stomach in the name of Jesus I command that bloating to go down now chest pain be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now hepatitis be healed now I'm hearing I'm hearing the word meningitis in the name of Jesus be healed now there is a man your challenge is a reproductory challenge and this is something that has been verified by the doctors this is this has this is has affected you and you're unable your wife is unable to give birth because of that i'm praying for you right now the power of god is coming upon your body this moment in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus there's someone just your your lower abdominal region you have something that looks like a lymph node but it has been there for a long time very painful in the name of jesus i command that devil to go now the lord is showing me someone who throws up what you eat when you eat you throw it up again you eat you throw it up again it's like food does not stay in your body in the name of jesus be healed right now be healed right now someone's right ear i don't know if it's that you couldn't hear completely or partially but that right ear is open now in the name of jesus the lord is showing me a woman i think this is a mother from abel kuta from abel kuta who is sick the power of god is touching that woman right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing the name manchester and the lord is saying there is a woman who is emaciating following this program right now from manchester the devil is afflicting your body this is a demonic thing in the name of jesus i declare be healed right now i'm seeing a woman lift up a boy that looks like between five or six just lift the child you are watching through a smart tv and that child has autism you are lifting the child as a point of contact in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i declare healing for that child right now healing for that child right now healing for that child right now there is a gentleman you are you are you are, you are a gentleman but when you go to ease yourself you are passing out blood you are passing out blood the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ i declare healing for you by the power of the holy spirit there is somebody outside you had voices this is where it started you had voices like people were talking and from that day there has been a noise in your ears even when there is silence you know it's just a sound a discomforting sound it's a demonic thing in the name of jesus be healed right now be healed right now now whether i mention your case or not anyone here with a medical report i change that report right now i change that report right now anybody holding the photo of a loved one you are trusting god for them there are people who are connecting from national hospital connecting from federal medical centers other private hospitals in the name of jesus be healed right now in the name of jesus be healed right now be healed right now someone you could not move your fist there's a part of your fist there's there's severe pain in the name of jesus you can move it right now um there is a child again is something that is, is 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 it looks like a genital issue with that child I don't know if the child is here but i'm seeing that there's something that needs to be corrected with that child in the name of jesus christ i don't know what it may be but i declare 
that that demonic thing corrected right now i declare it corrected right now i declare it corrected right now now the lord is showing me a condition i don't know what that is but there's someone tears just starts coming out of your eyes you know how maybe if you are peeling onion and then that that irritation it's not like you are crying maybe under the anointing this is just it's a very embarrassing thing the lord is healing you right now and then the lord is healing a gentleman the lord is showing me whether it is cold or heat you are always sweating your hands are always wet you can't hold something dry for it's almost embarrassing like water literally coming out of your body i don't know if there's a medical condition for that but in the name of jesus wherever you are i bring you life and healing right now life and healing right now whether i mention your case or not be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name now here's what i want you to do my god there's such there are several miracles i'm seeing in the spirit i want you to check yourself right now everywhere outside everywhere inside check yourself now begin to do what you could not do the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you young old male female i like you to boldly leave your seat and come and stand at my left or right those who are coming from outside and from all the overflows if it's to testify please allow them so that they come miracles are already happening hallelujah miracles are happening please make your way come and stand they'll confirm you and then we'll take some testimonies only 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 are you lord only holy holy are you lord the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy 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 Please let them come our medical people are here to help do the verifications outside there is a woman you don't stand easily until someone assists you you are outside try standing up now you will find out that you don't need an assistance the power of God has touched you right now I don't know who that person is there is a woman stand up right now and in the name of Jesus I declare healing for you please line all the people protocol help them so that they line up We'll just check them and we'll take a few testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. And there's someone you came here with pain. The Lord is showing me your molar, the right part of your molar. Severe pain, very severe. Looks like, I don't know if it's that there is a hole in it or something of that sort. But right now the power of God is touching you. I want you to check it. You will find out that a miracle has happened to you. Let's celebrate those who are coming. Jesus is touching people. It's called a miracle service. Okay. Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried. For in the sanctuary. Now, before we start taking the testimonies, um, you don't have to stand, but I want you to shout the name Jesus. You see, sometimes, let me teach you something about the way the Spirit of God operates in our lives. Sometimes, God will lead you to do things that don't make any sense at all. You understand? And there is a difference between you just acting in the flesh. It will be very clear that you are acting in the flesh. But when it is by the spirit, you will see that in that which does not make sense, the glory of God is even revealed and breathed. Because I thought that I would begin to pray, you know, minister deliverance for people, those who are oppressed, so that we, we, no, 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 please be careful. Just let them move back a bit. When I ask, just they can move back for what I'm about to say now. Now, the Lord just asked me that you sit down. But then I'm going to lead you to shout Jesus. And right from your seated position, there are many people that several spirits that have oppressed them just like that. 
I want those are the people I want you to pick them out and bring them here right now why these things happen honestly sometimes it is a is a sign and a wonder even for me now our ushers are there well trained but you know that there's a crowd of people especially for outside people are limited so please do well if you need to assist them if someone is under the anointing close to you being delivered please do well you can help them if the ushers are exhausted you can do well and help to bring the people so we're going to pray just one shout of that name jesus and I'm seeing the power of God bringing deliverance. Altars and yokes and all kinds of things while we verify the testimonies. And by the way, as the power of God touches you, those online, let us know what Jesus is doing. Our medical people are here, well trained to be able to collate the testimonies and then we'll take them right now. Are you ready? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Father, you have given me this instruction. There are people who are under demonic yokes some came here for the first time some have been here and it seems like the devil and all kinds of activities of witchcraft have tied you but as you shout that name jesus in the name of jesus as it was for ezekiel he said i prophesied as i was commanded let your deliverance come right now are you ready at the count of three while you are seated one two three shout jesus the name of Jesus Christ I command those devils release their destinies now release their destinies now please bring them up by the power that raised Christ from the dead outside inside every spirit in the name of Jesus release families release destinies release destinies hallelujah hallelujah now the lord is speaking something very interesting there is a spirit that has been released that is breaking homes breaking homes that altar in the name of jesus any family please bring them out in the name of jesus i declare those yokes be broken now be broken now be broken now be broken now and I shall like a barack God is opening my eyes and I'm seeing someone is like you are inside a cave there is nothing that you do that finds visibility right now the power of God is coming on you I don't know where they are but right now in the name of Jesus I declare come out of that cave now spiritually come out of that cave now come out of that cave now outside inside come out of that demonic cave now the lord is showing me the number 24 and i'm seeing people but in the realm of the spirit i'm not seeing a face just the parts of the body but no face something has covered your glory so that nobody is able to see what you carry right now the power of god is coming on i unfail you right now i unfail you right now help them please bring them out i unfail you right now by the spirit of god everything that has covered your glory in the name of jesus let it be unveiled now 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 hallelujah bring them out there is someone god is visiting you are from emo state i just saw i m o emo I don't know where that person is but in the name of jesus may the power of god right now that which was done by altars tying you down that nobody in your family rises i declare be free now be free now be free now be free now be free now, be free now. <laughs> the spirit of delay here it comes i see an anointing i'm seeing like rain like rain 
spirits that have tied down people in one position many of you this will come upon you right now father everyone who has been kept at the same position right now in jesus name may that fire come upon you please bring them out go forward go forward go forward i break the chains i release you i release your children i release your family go forward in the name of jesus hallelujah we'll take the testimony shortly the lord is showing me a family you came here there is a spirit the moment you get married you start going down financially and in every state it's not just you it has happened also to the people around and the lord is saying i should rebuke that spirit it's like the moment marriage happens the people start going down father i don't know where they are but if there is anyone under the sound of my voice under that influence in the name of jesus at the count of three i declare your deliverance right now one two three be set free now be set free now be set free now the lord is showing me a contractor you are a contractor you do contracts your money has been tied down it has been a battle from one place i'm seeing you moving from office to office pleading with people to release your resources in the name of jesus if you believe this prayer i'm praying for you my god will surprise you in jesus name yeah. hallelujah dead people dead people people who have gone visiting you again and disturbing you we are not talking of the spirits of just men made perfect the spirit of hades the dead i'm praying right now there's someone every night as you sleep you keep seeing dead people i declare the power of god is coming upon you for the sake of you and your family father let there be deliverance now deliverance now untimely death manifestations of darkness tying down your life please open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare I declare that I'm loose from everything that has tied me down by the power that raised Christ from the dead is someone praying I declare I, I stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has set me free I declare that I go forward I advance in the spirit I advance financially pray maritally in my career in ministry someone is praying hallelujah who is Deborah but they call you Deborah I think your name is Deborah but they call you Deborah please let's hurry up because we have to pray make sure that you you, you know what I'm saying before you come here Deborah that's what they call you who is that I'm still praying there are still a few people who will join them and I'll pray for them at once Deborah who is that person it's all right I will still pray for you the Lord wants to open because I'm seeing a door that is opening and the Lord is saying I should pray and I saw that name Deborah D-E-B-R-A maybe it's a short form for Deborah I do not know can I pray for you father in Jesus name you have spoken over these people let the anointing that makes for open doors right now let that anointing rest upon you receive it right now let that anointing rest some of you it will not be up to one month it will not be up to one month god will open strange doors for you in the name of jesus christ it will not be up to one month i declare those doors open now 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 
open now in the name of Jesus Christ help them the ones who came late don't worry you are in an atmosphere of the anointing I stretch my hands towards you those who came after I'm done with the prayer don't worry the power of God is setting you free right now let that grace that mantle for open doors for a new season let it rest upon you now take that grace now take that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ now please hear me this may not be for everybody but the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing people climb a ladder I don't know who that person is that means God is saying the current season you are in that it has come to an end I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus everybody who should go to the next level by the power that raised Christ from the dead may the unction the anointing that makes for that new level receive abakata, abakata. help them please receive it now receive it now you have compassed this mountain long enough I command rise to a new level rise to a new season rise to a new season in the name of Jesus Christ for the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light is that in your Bible and hear me if there is any barrier stopping you from rising higher I decree and declare let it clear out of the way now hallelujah now the Lord is revealing something interesting for me I just had the word laughter and the power of God is coming upon people literally they're going to begin to laugh literally I decree and declare right now the Bible says the shout of joy and victory shall not depart from the tents of the righteous therefore I declare welcome to a season of laughter welcome to a season of laughter financial laughter marital laughter career laughter oh weeping and just for a night but I prophesy to you your morning has come with it comes laughter Sarah said and all who hear this will laugh with me I decree and declare again I said to you laughter even by the spirit of the living God please don't think you are just receiving mere words no there is something coming upon your life the days of crying has come to an end the days of crying has come to an end now hear me please the Lord is asking me to speak to someone every time good things happen you are afraid of them because it does not last whether it's good relationships or finances is like nothing has longevity in your hand the spirit that is behind it that makes your laughter and your joy short-lived in the name of Jesus I command that it gives way now that it gives way now hallelujah I'm here to pray that prayer but there are two people you are in business you are in business but for a season it looks like things have not worked right now two of them it may be more but what God says to one he says to all but I'm seeing two people they will start running out now by the anointing please hold them is a grace for speed that is coming upon them I speak over your business help them in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I don't know what it is that you do I use this once as a point of contact everything that has pegged your feet at the same level right now speed take that grace right now take that grace right now speed in the name of Jesus Christ no retrogression no stagnancy by the power that raised Christ from the dead hallelujah 
the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing someone you came with an x-ray report an x-ray like a, an x-ray is if there's if you find that person let me speak over that person so that we can take a few testimonies all of you who are in front here in the name of jesus the spirits of oppression i declare by the power that raised christ from the dead you let them go right now go now release their destinies now release their families now release their businesses now in the name of jesus christ out of them now out of them now for upon mount zion the bible declares there shall be liberty and holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possessions i declare be free now hallelujah can i declare over open doors before we sit down he said i am he that was dead but now is alive and he holds the key of david there is a mystery in the spirit called the key of david he says with that key he opens a door that no man can shut i want to pray for you in the name of jesus there are doors that men can shut it depends on who is opening it i decree and declare anyone standing before a closed door please hear me in the name of jesus between august and september i prophesy to you enter your open doors enter that open door i speak to that door a father be open be open be open be open be open You are the one with them. What is that? X-ray? X-ray. Your own? He just, he just woke up and couldn't walk again. The boy woke up and couldn't walk doctor, again. What happened to him? Nothing. Doctor said nothing. They said his uh, SS, but several days has put How many? How, how long is this? This is two years now. He just woke up and couldn't walk. Yes, sir. You see, these are the kinds of demonic things we are talking about. How does someone just wake up in the morning, no sign, no symptom, and he cannot walk? Madam, you believe God will give your son yes, a miracle? What's his name? His name is Kevin. Kevin. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, we agree as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Over Kevin, that demonic spirit that has paralyzed him, I declare liberty for him right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing this gentleman hold, um, what's that? X-ray. X-ray report. What happened to you? I had an um, injury at the back, the lower back, at the neck. And then I also have issues here. Medically confirmed? Yes, sir. What did they say is wrong with you? They said it's the spondylosis. Lumbar spondylosis. Yes, sir. And then I, I have... Yes. I have, I have issues with my, they said heart and the liver. You have issues with your heart. Where are you coming from? From Joss. Joss? Yes, sir. Oh, dear. Madam, how about you? The same thing, sir. Cervical spondylitis. Look at my x-ray. How long? I was just diagnosed last month. I was just having pain here down to my hands. And it was affecting my blood pressure and everything. What couldn't you do, my friend? I can't walk long distance and then sometimes I, I have pain and then dizziness. Dizziness? I, yes, if I move my neck. Do you believe in Jesus? Very well, sir. You believe you can be healed? Yes, sir. Place your hand there. Madam, place your own hand on your chest. Hallelujah, you have won the victory. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. you have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. 
Hallelujah. My friend, look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't, don't put yourself under pressure. Eh? My sister, God is removing something out of your body. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing something coming out. I command that devil to leave now. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Madam, look at me. Just do what I ask you to do. Run. Go. Try jumping. Survivors, don't worry. Don't be afraid. You see what God is doing now. Hallelujah. Sir, look at me. How long has this been? For four months now. Four months. Move your neck. Be careful. Move it. Move it. Move it. Look at me. My friend. Run. Go. Look at the guy is smiling. Move your neck. Try jumping. Try jumping. I don't know why the remaining of you are here, but then we'll pray. Please make sure it's just the case that... What, 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 what's, why is she here? What's wrong with her? Huh? Chronic kidney problem, sir. Cancer? Kidney problem. Kidney. kidney. Problem. Yes, oh, dear. Okay, that's all right. Please, until I mention the case, don't come out, eh? But what is her name? Tell me talk where you do. Let her talk. Talk where you do. How long has it been, my dear? Two months now. The doctor that no, that's me. Place your hand there. Let me pray for you. Since you took that step of faith to come. Do you know, let me tell you the truth. When miracles happen to people, eh? Don't just rejoice. Put yourself in their shoes. Then you will understand the power of a genuine miracle. A young lady like this now getting into trouble already. What did you say is the problem again? Chronic kidney problem, sir. Chronic kidney failure. Like the end stage. You see. What's that? Father, in the name of Jesus. Look at me. Tell me to is her name. Tell me to You believe in Jesus? Sir. Huh? Yes, Look sir. at me. Jesus, for your glory, I pray in the name of Jesus that the spirit that is back of this, in Jesus' name, I decree and declare, I curse the spirit behind it. Let her go now. Out of her now. Out now. In the name of Jesus Christ. What couldn't she do? Um, she should be experiencing um, swelling of the feet and she can't walk for a long okay time. look at me my dear gently huh move yes. look and leave my brother leave look to jesus christ and leave it is recorded in his word hallelujah it's only that you know. Look what has happened to this lady. Do you know? Let me tell you this. Believe me when I tell you most medical conditions are spirits. Hallelujah. My dear, look at me. Move your legs. Don't worry. Don't be afraid. Just look at me. Move your legs. Help her. Move your legs. She's under the anointing, but be careful with her. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare this kidney thing, it goes permanently by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are we ready for a few testimonies? Sorry, sirs, for keeping you waiting. Yes, sir. Okay, let's sit and take a few testimonies. While that is happening, um, if you have not written your prayer request, let me pray for these ones. Let me pray for these ones very quickly who are lifting this. God bless you, sir. You check yourself, you can testify. Father, what, this, this is x-ray, okay, for you. How about you? For you. 
You are standing for someone? For you? Okay, let me pray for them. For you? Okay, I'll pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all these people. In the name of Jesus, visit them right now. Turn their situations around. I don't know what the problem is, but in Jesus' name, let the power of God touch you supernaturally. Be healed completely in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that sickness. I rebuke that infirmity. Help the gentleman, eh? In the name of Jesus Christ. For the gentleman, for you and for this gentleman, be healed in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Please. All right, praise God. Apostle, you gave a word of knowledge. Yes, sir. The bloated tummy. The bloated tummy. Yes. Okay, very quickly. Yeah, I came into this service with um, a bloated tummy. I was eating and it was not digesting. So I came in, I could not even pray. But when you began to worship, sing worship, I felt something leave me and I'm free. Completely now. Yes, I decree and declare it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Very quickly, please arrange the people already so that we'll have... Apostle, she had an accident two years ago. Like half of her body was paralyzed. Two years ago? Yes. She lost... That very month, I lost my that parents. That you lost your parents and friends. you had an accident. That very day. Since then, I've been bringing out fluid. It's only me that know what is going You've on. You've been taking out fluid. I've been bringing out cutter from the side, one side. Okay. And last week, I saw my mom came coming to carry me. I said, no. Yesterday, she came. What she happened to you now? Everything is She's healed now. Completely. Yes. Check she yourself. Was, she was to go for tests tomorrow. Look at this. National Hospital tomorrow. Oh, you are to go to National Hospital. Yes, for brain and In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, even as God has taught you, it remains permanent right now. In Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Pastor Jason. So, Apostle, he came in here. We have quite a number of people that were healed from right shoulder. You wow. spoke about that. With yes. Of knowledge. I can see and the man. Please talk, sir. What happened to you? Yes, I in Labour, Cross River State. Okay. Uh, after I traveled to my village, I Ninja State and buried my mother. I went home. I went to do my work there. Then you went to bury your mother in the village. In the, in the village, State. yes. Mm -hmm. Then I I traveled back to Klaba. That was where the the incident happened. Just like that, my I couldn't understand myself. Let me pray for someone. If there's anybody who programs anything, the village is not a no-go area. And the village is not anybody's personal property. The earth is the Lord's and his fullness thereof. Anybody who programs evil for you, that as you go for whatever and you are returning, may their evil rest upon them. I say it again. May their evil rest upon them. People cannot be threatened. You have the liberty to go anywhere. Nobody can put any demonic rule and say, don't come to any village. By whose order? Anybody exchanging the life of young people with their own life to prolong them in the name of Jesus, they have met their end this night. It's the reason why there's no development in many villages. There are people who want to go and develop the place and these wicked people just sit down and destroy people in the name of don't come, don't, what nonsense is that? Is the village not part of the earth? He went to bury his innocent mother. And you know there are many of these kinds of issues where people innocently go. Some return back, they go down financially. Everybody is shaking, everybody is greeting. And some of these people are people you even go out of your way to help. Anybody who took your name anywhere, I'm praying for you now, this night, in the name of Jesus, both the altar, the harbalist, and the initiator, may the earth open and swallow them. Hallelujah. What happened to you now, sir? As I said, then I, I from, I from um, my very, my brother, mother, I went back. Yes, to and what happened this uh, night, sir? No, right now, I'm my Praise God. Walk. Go ahead. Walk, sir. Look at, this is somebody who came, you, you, you can see this kind of situation. Sign the name of Jesus, what God has begun, I declare perfection of it. Supernaturally. In Jesus' name. Yes, sir. I play soccer. 
as loud as you can, my friend, and straight to the point. Okay. Um, sometimes last year I fell down in the field. And I, you fell down in the field. Yeah, okay. And I dislocated my left shoulder. And right now, yes, let him go. Take it easy. And sir. since then, I've been I've been in pains. You've so, been in pains, and what happened right now? The pain has disappeared. Check yourself. He plays football. You are serious about your football? Ah, this man plays football truly. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I didn't need to ask him again. He answered me with that press up. Hallelujah. May God increase you, eh? Amen. Connect you to serious people who will take you higher. Amen. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Go I ahead. I had an accident on 6th of, July, on 6th of June 2020. Yep. Yes, ma'am. And the they car knocked me down. And since then, I've been having pain. I cannot raise my hand like this. I cannot raise my hand. Up. And right now. Immediately, you made mention of right hand. Yes. Like, I, Look at this. She had accident, and right now, let the devil see you. That's how you wave poverty goodbye. That's how you wave sickness goodbye. That's how you wave every demonic thing goodbye. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Yes, please. A testimony from Singapore. You made mention of from the, Singapore. Singapore of Veronica. Okay. Now, now she called the PR line of the lower abdominal pain that you gave the word of knowledge about. Now she's healed by the power of God. Okay. Yes, Daddy. She's, um, she said she's been suffering from severe lower back pain and cervical spondylitis, and she's not been able to stand up without any. And right now, right now, she called the phone. All the way from said, Singapore. Yes, yeah, we can give stand Jesus up praise, and in the name of Jesus, we declare perfection for her. Yes, please. Difficulty in swallowing for the past one week. These are mothers. Difficulty in swallowing. Yes, sir. How long, my dear? Since last week. In the name of Jesus, we declare liberty for you. And blessings for your mom in Jesus name we pray amen God bless you please you gave word of knowledge of someone throwing up she yes. came and she was even admitted in the in the medical stand or okay. now the throwing up has stopped and then she said she had an arrow attack last week that her neck just became still she couldn't turn her neck but now in the name of Jesus Christ now, she's it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit yes pastor Jakes please I, I had seizure seizure attack some years ago. Seizure? Yeah, and I fell and I had issues with my hand. And when you mentioned it, the, the pain just... Like just, that. Just, Lift it up now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Yes. Is someone yes, celebrating okay. what Jesus is doing? Yes, sir. Yes. So... This has actually been tested by the medical team. Yes. So she had a... um, I was diagnosed of ulcer a few weeks ago. Uh -huh. And I started taking medication three days ago. And um, I took this morning's dose. After coming, when I came here, I said I wasn't going to take it again. I mm. didn't take for afternoon. I didn't take for this night. After the test, it came out negative. Negative completely. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will remain permanent in your life. In Jesus' name, yes, Benga. Three months shoulder in the pain. You Three months shoulder pain. pain. Yes. In Jesus' name, you are completely delivered. Yes, sir. Regurgitation. He regurgitates. He eats and then brings it out through the cord. He said he was having it, the symptom when he was in service. Wow. How long has this been, my friend? It has been for a very long time. You eat and you regurgitate. I regurgitate, but I take it to be a normal thing. But there no, been it's, a, no, there it's been not There have been a time, Apostle Meshoni, but... The thing still continue, but this evening, while in the service, I was just coming from a, a party, so I was just feeling the, the symptoms. I would uh, regurgitate, and uh, I was just hiding my face so that my in the name of Jesus, down. it will not return to you again yeah. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. God bless you. Yes, you gave a you. word of knowledge of noise in the air, in the air for the noise in the air. Year, it has ceased now. God has completely yes, in the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Let's take one or two. I had a dream on a Friday night. Um, I saw a snake, a long snake, brown, tiny but very long, entering my private part. Yes. And I woke up. I was very terrified. I was very scared. What happened as a result? I woke, I woke up my husband. I woke, I woke my husband up. So we prayed. I told him I could not sleep. Um, immediately, I began to feel movement in my body. Physical, physically yes yesterday morning when i woke up my stomach was very bloated very big and something was moving in my stomach 
I was very uncomfortable. I'm a lively person. I'm outspoken. Yes. But my husband noticed that I was, I was just quiet. And what happened to you now? Now, when I came, I was busy spitting. I was just throwing spit up and down. So I have to go and buy sweet. Yes. All of a sudden, it has ceased. Completely. My, yes, my stomach has gone down. Lay your hands on your stomach. I decree and declare in Jesus' name, this freedom remains permanent. No, no demonic occurrence, whether through the dream realm or wherever, you are set free and free forever. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Apostle, God is doing fantastic things online. Online. Yes. Scriptures yes. talk yes. about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, in his teeth. it says, Make by sure he verifies it medically. Go law ahead. Of God. Praise God for that and miracle. And yes. he meditates day and night. Yes. It says that that man is like Completely. a tree planted yes, by the rivers of water whose leaves do not wither when who bears fruit in, the name in of every Jesus season. Christ. As you are about listening now, to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man to planted by the rivers of water. Your well, leaves happening, are forever going sure to be And we know that your seed your your will not now, pass Now please bring it out, you pass it to the last person by your left or right, and, you will forever and then the ushers will quickly pick it, especially we have for a lot of content to share so many of you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel. As well let's as have, you like us, have, um, hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us. Please because gather it very, very quickly that whatever so that whatever content can here come and is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that I yes, want you to attain. Thank you. Um, on Saturday morning after a midnight prayer, yes. I had a confrontation in the dream. Okay. So with a woman, so I, God helped me with her. So since then when I woke up, I started feeling pain at my right chest. Okay. So I went to meet the doctor yesterday. He said I should do an X-ray. So I'm to come back on Tuesday for the report. So I was upstairs there. Yes. And you gave a word of knowledge about the chest pain. Immediately I felt a cold sensation from the From your head down. And it's gone. In Jesus' name it remains permanent. Even by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Yes. Are we done? Okay. Yes, please. Oh dear, now I love children. Let me hear this boy. So, Apostle, he said he fell up. He, he fell down? Yes, but his head was swollen and the power of God touched him. The pain is gone. My friend. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, eh? And in Jesus' name, may you not only be healed, you will carry the anointing to heal nations. You don't know if it's your own child, he will heal one day. Say amen, oh. Yeah. Hallelujah. God bless in Jesus' name. Yes, please. She used to have defect in her eyes that she sees someone double. She sees it. Oh, she I, said, I when, see. When this, she came here, let, let us speak. Give it to you. her. Straight to the point. Amen. Good evening. Um, Straight to, well, God bless okay. you. Straight to the point. Let's, let's go. Okay, so um, I came to service this evening. I've been using these glasses um, since last year in November. Okay. So when I came to service, I was sitting up there. This is actually my first time here. I was practically dragged to this place. And uh, I was sitting up there and I was looking at the man of God and I was seeing him double from up there. But I said, no, I'm not going to wear these glasses. I'm going to um, keep these glasses aside and focus on them. And what happened now? And just because of the prayer, I, I, I noticed that I can see you like... Clearly. Yes, just Come one. on now, give and, Jesus and praise. My glass broke and my glass is oh, your glass is broke. glass broke in the course of the prayer. Yes, my glass is broke. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, your miracle is permanent. In Jesus' name. Let's have the Let last one there. Let the association symptoms healed by the power of God. In the name of Jesus. May God bless you. Okay, let's have the last one. You yes, sir. This word of knowledge. Yes, um, you said... Um, there's someone that couldn't make his fist. So as soon as I, as the one word went out, I tried to make my fist and I noticed my hand is normal now. Normal. Yes. For these and all the other testimonies in the name of Jesus, we declare that your healings remain permanent. And for those who didn't have an opportunity to testify in Jesus' name, I decree and declare that your healing, your miracles remain permanent. In Jesus' name, I pray. While we're collating the prayer request, can you stand on your feet? Let me give you two or three prayer points. And then we'll pray and I speak over your life and we're done. Don't be tired of praying. Prayer point number one. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. Please shout it loud and clear. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. 
that from this day forward i make reasonable progress go ahead and pray open your mouth and begin to pray by the power of the holy spirit someone is praying everywhere in the name of jesus i make reasonable progress reasonable progress the bible says he went forward he advanced until the philistines envied him he began to prosper and to go forward in the name of jesus from this day someone pray as you are declaring so it will become in your life i make progress koinonia makes progress in the name of jesus supernatural progress by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah shout he say in the name of jesus everything required for my excelling in this new season i receive it by faith go ahead and pray everything needed connections resources spiritual intelligence access to the hearts of kings everything required for your excelling someone pray everything required man of god pray politician pray businessman pray and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency in all things that you will abound in every good work I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ everything needed for my excelling in this new season. Hallelujah. Are you tired of praying? Say in the name of Jesus every person and every platform anointed to announce me in this season i decree and declare it must work in my favor go ahead and pray every person and every platform they will walk in my favor announcing the good tidings of jesus the bible says when jesus was born there were there was a star that announced his arrival every person and every platform that should announce you announce your business announce the investment of the spirit upon your life to your world activates them by prayer in the name of jesus christ hallelujah say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the lord of peace himself will give me peace always and by all means lift your voice and pray the giver of peace trouble is far from your life someone is declaring as we get into the ember months trouble is far from my life the god of peace himself is granting me peace always peace in the name of jesus final prayer point and then we'll pray over your request hallelujah are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus the mantle for favor rest upon my life the mantle of honor rest upon my life go ahead and pray decree and declare the mantle for favor the mantle of honor rest upon my life someone is praying rest upon my life favor and honor rest upon my life for the sake of his majesty rest upon my life rest upon my life favor honor at the gates favor honor with gatekeepers with captains of industry in politics in government in career in ministry 
someone pray it's a serious prayer point the mantle for favor the mantle of honor rest upon my life for in jesus name we pray please stretch your hands towards the altar and begin to declare over the request that you wrote now there are things you may not be able to tell everybody but if you are yet to write you're here to bring your requ your request please bring it let's have anyone's left please stretch your hands and begin to declare the bible says in philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 it says be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto god someone is praying go ahead and declare go ahead and declare in the name of jesus go ahead and declare someone is praying people are already receiving answers in the name of jesus christ go ahead and declare over this prayer request i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit someone is praying this captivity comes to an end this captivity comes to an end this captivity comes to an end for someone declare prophetically i close every negative door i open every door blessing favor lifting in the name of jesus please if, if there are still some let's let's have them so that we can pray don't be tired you are declaring by miracle service september you are only returning with thanksgiving for in jesus name we pray shout a loud amen i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit every pharaoh and every king that must send for you even if they are hedonistic the king that sent for joseph was not a believing king but he still sent for him i don't care where the quotas are provided it is directed by god whoever must send for you for your rising i declare they send for you now Everything you have started and yet not been able to complete by the power that raised Christ from the dead. We are getting into September. September is the ninth month. I decree and declare, may this be the month where you give birth supernaturally. That which has been locked up in your spirit in the name of Jesus. Let me pray for everyone in ministry, every pastor, everyone serving the Lord anything that represents shame and reproach in your ministry in the name of jesus it dies permanently now i feel a strong stirring in my spirit to pray over families in the name of jesus i bow my knees to the lord of heaven any family here going through storms any family here that has been asking lord where are you in the name of jesus may my god and your god answer speedily answer speedily whoever has interrupted your helper and stopped them from coming to you in the name of jesus anyone who has come in the spirit of sambalat and tobias to stop what you are building from finishing i clear them out of the way now and whoever said where is your god may your testimony this week be the answer may your testimony this week be the answer in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah let me pray for those who are in abuja here but i'm going to pray prophetically for everyone listen to me god is the god of portions any family that is yet to be structurally established i'm praying for you i want you to believe it 
in the name of Jesus, the resources and the access for God to give you your own place. He called it Rehoboth. He said, for God has given my, I, my own space. Where your land is in this city or in this nation and where the resources for God to honor you with structural establishment, to give you the focus to live destiny with dignity, I release that grace upon you now. Everyone jobless by miracle service September return with your employment letter Every business that is dying or going down you come back to life now Hear me In the name of Jesus even though I know that Around our nation things seem very tight when you look at things physically it looks like things are not lining up but I want to place a mark of exemption upon you I decree and declare please hear me by the power that raised Christ from the dead when men say there is a casting down let it be minus you I say it again let it be minus you in the name of Jesus Christ any demonic programming to kidnap you or any of your loved one please receive this prayer whether by road whether in the air as we get into this ember month by the power that raised christ from the dead for as long as you are on the road no devil will stop you to oppress you <laughs> hallelujah the poverty in the land seems to have multiplied evil people now boggle people's homes boggle people's cars and steal things sometimes petty things because they feel they want to make ends meet in the name of jesus i decree and declare your home your children and all who are connected to you they are safe even as we enter the ember months in the name of jesus in one minute i know that our time is gone but as a family of faith I want us to pray for Nigeria in one minute. Lord, step in over this nation. Go ahead and pray in one minute. This is the only nation that we have. I'd like you to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, the national anthem says, guide our leaders right, help our youth the truth to know. In love and honesty to grow, go ahead and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare, let things work in this nation. Pray for our universities. Pray for the ASU strike. Pray for the security situation. Pray for the election coming. Pray for everything. Lord, establish your purposes in this nation. We cry and we decree and declare that the reign of darkness comes to an end. Harassment of lives and properties come to an end. We take responsibility as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we contribute our quota to pray for our nation. We pray for the peace of Nigeria. We prosper because we love it in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Finally, let me pray over your spiritual life. We are first a people who are spiritual. And our work with God, our spiritual understanding, the character of the Christ in us is priority. No matter what else we have, if our spirituality is troubled, then we're in trouble are we together let me remind you that in order of priority your relationship with God your passion for his presence your passion for prayer your passion for fasting your passion for the Word of God your passion for the house of God these are biblical indices that measure your spiritual health and if at any point in your life these indices fall or falter it means something is wrong in as much as I've spoken over every other area of your life, it is important that your spiritual fire remains strong, that you are spiritually vibrant and alive. Are we together? Whether you buy cars or houses, if you are going down spiritually, you are not growing in knowledge. This is why week after week we gather. Every meeting is a miracle service, but we dedicate time the last um, Sunday of every month to be able to minister to the needs of people but it is important that you submit yourself to gain thorough spiritual understanding I pray for you the fire that is upon your altar will not go down 
I pray for you. Anyone suffering from spiritual laziness, you've seen that the last one month, the last few weeks, your prayer life has gone down. No grace to fast, no grace to pray. In the name of Jesus, I declare, be free from that oppression. I pray for you from tonight. As you open your Bible, let light come from Scripture. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for you, may your life, even your ministry, let it be characterized with signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any wrong relationship around your life that is impeding your spiritual growth, I cut you away from it permanently. And I, I reintroduce godly people into your life. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare beginning from tonight, let it be a week of supernatural encounters. Angelic encounters. Encounters with Jesus Christ. Encounters with the light from the word. For in Jesus name we pray. Thank you very much for the sacrifice of your time and your presence. We're wrapping up. Please let's minimize moving. Now, let me encourage you, please and please, whilst you leave, there are so many people, tens of thousands of people. If for any reason you know a few people and you can give them a lift, please, it would be, it would be such a great blessing. And let me advise as much as possible, if you can go home in groups, please do that for the sake of your personal security. May the Lord bless you and honor you in Jesus' name. We're here on Sunday. Time again is 5 p.m. West African time. Thank you so much, all our viewers and those who have connected online. Rise up on your feet, please. Let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, all the days of our lives, as we dwell in the house of the Lord. Amen. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.